Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome once again to ATDL Beta Division, the match between DWN versus NTFN. Today I am joined by my co-caster, Ballman. How are I, you doing today, sir? I am doing very well, man. I've just won a ranked game with Abaddon and I feel very, very good. So uh, I am looking forward to seeing um, how people, uh, how the teams are going to be like. And uh, it's going to be interesting to watch, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Uh, so, NTFN have already played one series, which they drew 1-1. Uh, the first uh -huh. game, they were... Who, who are they up against? Uh, I don't exactly remember who they played. All I remember is a gyrocopter position 4 that they picked. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, right, I'm not uh, sure what was that's, going that's on there. Some, that's some 440 build, dude. That's fucking scary, actually. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's actually quite scary. <laughs> yeah. So they picked it with a Crystal Maiden five, and uh, yeah, they, like it, it it was it looked scary for a while with the uh, CK on their side, but uh, yeah, they ended up losing that game. But game two made a stomp, so it was a one one. Uh, I see, I Dawn see. Academy they have also played one game. Their game was yesterday versus Tailed Birthright, and it was basically the Catsius show both games. Game <laughs> one, game yep. one was a game Fucking, one was a uh, Queen of Pain offering. Off. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. It was absolutely destroyed like the entire team. He came up with like two five-man Sonic waves, and yeah, like there was just no resistance every single time. Uh, game two, however, uh, Tails Birthright were able to make a comeback versus Dawn Academy, and they have to be wary of complacency because they took Roshan on Spectre, mm -hmm. and after that, lost the fight on the river on their side. Yeah, it, it, well, what, one thing that people need to understand is like sometimes you have to be patient, you know, because te most people tend to like rush into the into like trying to end the game or whatever instead of like for example farming for buyback or like trying to get like the next item like by the way I, I, is this started right? It has, the stream has started right? Um, if the twitch chat says that the stream has started it means that the stream has started we have though. made we have uh, we have made the announcement though so I'm pretty sure uh, I'm pretty sure the we have made the announcement oh okay Have also, got, ladies and are, gentlemen, are you, are you sure you were... I sure we have actually. Mm, I'll confirm right now with right. Enigmatic. Okay. Because if that's the case, we've been speaking for no fucking reason. I don't think I missed anything, right? I'm pretty sure I, I set up everything right. I can just go right now and check. Yeah. If you want. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah I'll do it right now. Yeah, the stream is on. We're live. All right. All right. Yeah, no one joining. Perfect. Feels bad, man. I'm so lonely. Wait, what's, uh, the, what's the link again? Uh, www.twitch.tv slash atdl www.twitch.tv uh, oh. Sometimes you have to be patient, you know, because like, most people tend to like rush into the into like Okay, yeah, I, we, we are live, alright. <laughs> Just had to make sure. So, yeah, I mean... Who knows, do you think, do you think this is going to be another Caxes show? And he just pick some random off laner and then just completely destroys the safe laner and eventually just carries the game? I mean, uh, I, would, I would definitely expect them to take DWN very seriously. Like, DWN is one of the stronger teams in this game. Ah, I see, I see. So, who, who, so, oh, for, so actually, can, can you give us like a, a little insight into how... Uh, Dawn Academy, like, how, what, what's their kind of uh, heroes, you know? Play, so, playstyle-wise, they're looking at like really uh, farm-oriented heroes, and they primarily focus heroes on their core side, which tend to scale well into the late game. So, ah, both okay. games, they pick something which scales really well. The first game was an Alchemist and a Queen of Pain, um, and uh, the second game, they picked the Spectre. So, they definitely f pick these heroes who scale extremely well into the late game. I see, so, I basi like so basically, they, they, they like picking heroes that are like, very active in the middle game, rather than like. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. All right. Absolutely. Yeah. So and, uh, they, 
they rotate like very early on like uh, you know these teams who like 15 to 20 minutes into the game just start sticking as five man going into yeah, yeah. every single lane and destroying it yeah that's basically dawn academy ah, I see, I see. okay all right so that means based on that we, we could see a very action-packed game yeah, yeah, I definitely think so. I do feel like uh, they need to shut down Katsias and TFN if they have any chance of winning this game. If they do not shut down that off lane, then yeah, things are going to be looking very problematic for them. Because once he gets like one or two items on board, this guy just rotates, I mean, it rotates to the safe lane and basically ends up giving a lot of space to those lanes. Uh -huh. So... Interesting cancer shit, alright. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it looks like we are about to head into game one between Dawn Academy and NTFN. Once again, being joined by Bobman here. Hello. Uh, Bobman, what sort of things do you expect in the draft between those, uh, these two teams? And a related question, are you happy with the meta right now? Uh, first off, to what they might draft, okay, I can, t I can, I can, I can tell you with utter certainty that either Chen, Lestrak, Night Soccer is getting banned in the first stage. So can we just fucking skip the first Banning stage and just go straight to the picks because that's boring as fuck. <laughs> but as how I'm feeling about the meta is, um, I feel like it's been too long. You know, I'm actually kind of annoyed if how like basically everyone just knows what to do already. How to like abuse like the strong heroes like Night Stalker off lane, fucking Sun King and everything. Is this? Right, uh, I'm just hoping for a change as soon as possible. You know. Okay, Keith, uh, did you put the delay in the stream? Yeah, I did. I did. Okay, cool. You ready? You ready to go? Yeah. Alright. Alright, seems everyone's ready. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Alright, so Dawn Academy have first priority and second pick. Alright, let's see, let's confirm this. <laughs> Alright, to be honest, all right, it, actually, in, in, in your view, right, who, which heroes do you think like desperately needs to be needs a buff? Desperately needs a buff. Yeah, like yeah. Mm. F in your opinion, like which hero would you like to see like getting buffed the most? You know. I mean, I would say he like anti mage and um, what else is not in the meta that should uh, be in the meta? Ursa, and Ursa, PO. Ursa. Fucking hell. Anti mage, Ursa, and PO. These yeah. are the three heroes with yeah. me like. Need a buff. Yep. Anti mage like early on is like so weak, man. Yep. Like in this point. basically, if you want to go anti mage, you might as well just pick Naga, you know, because even Naga does something. But anti mage is like too farm reliant and like the like the out like the the output he gives right is not comparable to what Naga Naga can give, you know. And Naga can farm faster as well. So yeah, I I'll definitely be uh, happy to see like he was like anti mage. Um, Ursa starts um starts getting buff, you know. Yeah, I completely agree. Um, heroes which I would like to see nerfed, um, I definitely think Ember still needs a big nerf, man. Like, even though he has been nerfed in the past two patches, I think, like, a, sm a smaller nerf is still Radiant needed. Bang. Maybe even uh, nerf the Naga a bit. Like, Naga, yeah, definitely. Once again, definitely <laughs> Naga is definitely getting buffed. Last Strike will definitely get nerfed. Night nice Stalker will get nerfed. Sand King will yeah. get nerfed. It's pretty yeah, predictable, you... honestly. It's just that, well, people are, are more looking forward to, like, what's gonna get buffed, you know, rather than the nerfs. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Do you think that they need to nerf the Enchantress, or do you think it's balanced? I think it's balanced, because you don't see Ent Enchantress that much right now. So, yeah, yeah. I, I would say it's fine. And if, and if I, it's ban the Centaur. But I definitely think that the meta is definitely a bit stale right now. Like, yeah. I can't wait for the Major to end them. Yeah, that's true. To I, I actually, to be honest with you, as an offlaner, right, I would, rather, I would love to see like heroes like Clockwork, uh, Doom especially, Doom, come back into the meta, you know? Yeah, yeah. 
Like all trainers, which take like a bit of skill and uh, like can generally like explode if given the right amount of space. Yep. I I'm surprised that I've not seen the Shrek nor Night Stalker getting banned yet because that's usually the first, the first two bands you want to go for, like including Morph Shaker, or, like either one of the two, you know. Yeah. But I think yeah, you, 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 you usually see Shaker getting banned. I think I think in beta division, like the way they draft is a bit different than yeah, true, in yeah, alpha true. and alpha plus. Because yeah, yeah the, the the morph shaker combo is a bit more high skill because yeah, yeah. the morphing needs to be, needs to be a regular player. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yep. Because Tails Birthright, when they played like Dawn Academy yesterday, they actually tried the morph shaker combo with the Abaddon as well, and it ended up being a complete disaster. Like that game, um, Dawn Academy had a twenty six thousand lead at twenty six minutes seconds. into the game. Oh my god, that's a total stop. It's literally one. Yeah. It's actually one k freaking freaking lead for a minute. Yeah, that's what happens and when you click the, an And they banned Quop. <laughs> I guess they they must have taken notes from yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> I guess they well, really Once did. again though, Max Stalker, Lestrack, into the pool, Koto as well. Yeah, yeah like, like, all, the like all these really strong heroes. Oh, they, oh, they're gonna... Uh, they actually do run a combo, alright. Alright, so I guess... Oh my god, it's so, so fast. I feel like they're Okay, I better say... Okay, okay, they're really listening to Huh? Sorry, I missed that. You're lagging a bit. Yeah, yeah, my bad. Anyway, so they actually they run the morph shaker. Do you think do you think they can actually like successfully uh, win the game with this combo, or do you think they're gonna Ten fall to the ground again? Go. I mean, uh, like uh, as far as like this combo is concerned, right? Like, mm -hmm. I feel like it'll in which you have to opt. Uh, if you're running a morph shaker combo, I would like to see both heroes rush the agonims and just run around the map and. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Because, it's like, it's... A... Keith, you're still lagging. Yeah. I can't hear you. Wait, fuck. There's not much I can do about it. Okay, okay, that's fine. Alright. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm surprised no one has picked Kotal yet. To be honest with you. Really? Yeah, I feel like Will O' Wisp right now is a very strong ability. Yeah. Uh, goes really well with both. Like whatever this, these two teams have picked so far, it goes really well with it. So yeah. I, I I can't see a reason why none of them have decided to pick it up. It is yeah. like a Will O' Wisp can basically end up changing the fight, and it takes a lot to kill it as well. If the heroes are concentrating on killing the Will O' Wisp, like you can absolutely destroy them. So yep. question like I'm pretty Ten sure Ra Radius should go. go for OD, right? Considering uh. Our Devaro, considering that they ran the, 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 shaker, uh, the shaker morph, yeah, they yeah, might pick it a bit later because su surprisingly, like Dyer hasn't banned it yet. What kind of carry do you think they should go though, for Radiant to like deal Dyer with the morph? Mm, I feel like they should uh, they should take something which scales well into the late game while also being extremely active early on so i expect like okay so storm spirit comes out wow. this is very interesting yep i mean at the moment there's not much you can there's, 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 you can't deal with the storm spirit at the moment but then again they're revealing two costs in one go that's pretty greedy coming from that from that side i definitely feel like this is a pocket strat that they have practiced today or yesterday yeah, and are coming out for the, yeah because like when you see this amount of confidence on them, like they're picking all of these heroes like so early on, yeah. it definitely feels ah, like this is something that might have this is, a, this is a good pick. This is very strong against the Morphling, Morphling as well as the Storm Spirit. Storm Spirit, yeah. yeah. It took them a while to pick it though, but yeah, it finally came out. So that means this is going to be a post 5 for this game. And post 4 yeah. Shaman, I guess? Yeah, I completely I, agree. I, I, I completely dis dislike the idea of Shaman post 4 because I, I don't think... Dance Shaman is just pretty go. weak as a whole right now in this meta. Yeah, and, I, and like, and to, I, and I, like to be honest, if you like seconds. the morphing, uh, the morphing shaker can just feed on the damn shaman. And it's not gonna be like, for him. Like a shadow shaman rotating, you're not really scared of it, are you? Like yeah, it's I know, a yeah, hero, exactly. So squishy. It's so, like like, yeah. like storm with an all kick can just kill him so easily. Like it's just it's just a really tough game for shaman. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, so mm. I I I don't know. I I just. I, I like the nice soccer pick, that's that's for sure. And the abandoned pick is also Radiant's good, but pick. the shaman pick is just very underwhelming. Winter okay, so Winter Wyvern. Winter Wyvern. Do you think that you think that the save from the Winter Wyvern will be enough to counter the Night Stalker? Um 
it might be. It depends on the type of carry they have, but so far I would say yes, maybe. I definitely feel like they picked the Abaddon just to make sure that Dawn Academy Ten do not pick it up. I don't I don't think that would have been like their preferred choice for pause five, right? Like it doesn't up. like it goes well with Morphling because Morph can just uh, switch into Agi Gain and he can heal him for full with two miss coils, but yep. I don't know what other reason they sought to pick it up with their draft. I see, I see. But yeah. Dreden definitely want uh, they, they they want to, they need to make sure that the storm doesn't the storm and Morphling do not get a, uh, a very good game. So like they need they need like a, a kind of mid hero for from Radiant to like uh, really like be able to make pressurize the match. I think Lestrange is good actually, but or oh, the Rave King. But yeah, um, I'm not sure actually. I don't, I don't know about the Rave King pick. It's I guess it's okay because you know he he won't die that easily because he has reincarnation obviously, but I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really confused with this Raid King pick because yeah. like if this is if this is a core pick then Ten they're going to need it to, to farm like heavily and I don't think the supports from Dawn Academy are going Five to allow seconds. him to do that. Yeah. So I I don't like the interaction of the Raid King with the rest of their draft and uh, it'll be you're very interesting to see. In a Rave King, I think you're, you're basically you're basically saying you want to play the farm game, which is obviously gonna favor the Morphling Shaker more, considering exactly. the draft is greedier. So I I really don't know why they pick Rave King, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, yes, it won't die to the Shaker Moth and Storm combo, uh, Storm. But like, w w what does it matter when like the Storm, the, the the rest they can just like um, kill the rest of the team, you know? Yeah, agreed. So both teams drafting really greedy cores. Five It'll seconds. be very interesting to see which one Radiant's comes online pit. faster, the Wraith King or the Morphling. Yeah, they ban I I guess that's mm, if they go tight. Honestly, if they, if, if Dire go tight is a really greedy draft, so yeah, it's yeah. Very, it, so as it is, it's, if it, as it is, it's really greedy already. So like honestly, saying that Ra like I said, Radiant need to pick a, a mid that can really like pressurize them and and not a greedy mid. They cannot afford to go greedy this game. Ten seconds to go. So it'll be very interesting to see what they counter the storm start with. Five a lot seconds. of mid laners are in the pool though. What do you expect coming out? Maybe something like the Amber. Maybe a no, Amber's bad. Amber's bad. I don't think they'll go Invoker because I, I don't think Invoker's that, Invoker's that good either. But it, it might work, Invoker can work, but... Actually, maybe, I think they might go Invoker if they can. Or... I would say Lestrak too, but like the thing is, he, he, Lestrak dies very easily to that to that team. But at the same time, the Lestrak can really destroy mid against the Storm Spirit. Yeah, yeah, that is true. So... I, I, I would say if... Um, Radiant stick as fall like constantly with the Abad with the Abaddon practi like, practically baby uh, sitting the Lestrak so that he doesn't die. I would say this is a good Lestrak game. But he has to get a, a very early BKB, like probably like second item or something. Yeah, I don't think I don't think they're mid plays Lestrak though, so yeah, I will be really surprised if they pick it up. I think you're right, like more like something oh, like Puck. Oh, Puck. Yeah, okay. that's that, that's Puck is pretty good, I guess, because you, you don't actually. I, I like Puck because you you, you you don't you you basically shut down the Morphling and Shaker and Storm from jumping around with with, with your Dream Coil. He he is very he is very evasive, so they're yeah. going to. Have with that said, they don't have much damage from the Radiant side, so yeah, yeah, that is true as well. Okay, so it is a very confusing graph from yeah, NTFN. I, I don't know, like I I, I don't. Like, I, I understand why they pick Puck, but the problem is that they lack damage now. Yeah. Honestly, I, I don't... They, 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 it comes into uh, my, into the mind again where, like, Rave King is just... You, you question the Rave King pick because it, does, it doesn't do much. Then, then again, I, I could be proved wrong because I don't know how the match is going to play out, but from what I see now, I, I just feel like Dire is just really good because... Um, if, if once Dire reach their timings, right, they're going to completely run over Radiant. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Oh, I need the laser. Oh. Alright. Now, just because of that, they. <laughs> now, Rave King gets a very tough time already, so. Uh, yeah, I, I, I quite like the laser pick, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and this is a Catsy's Razor as well, so yep. yeah, I def definitely expect him to have a really good time in lane, yep. even versus the Rave King. So. I, def I definitely think that Daya have a superior draft, to be honest with you. Yeah. If, uh, if right. like, um. Yeah, if basically with the razor in the off lane, like um, theoretically speaking, like the Rave King should get like little to nothing from the from the lane, 
And if that happens, Dyer are, are Radiant are pretty much screwed then. Because they need they need the Rift King to have a good game at least. Yeah, we just got a comment saying that the stream is like Oh my bad. Damn. There's not much I can do about it, huh? Yeah yeah, that's fine. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> Alright, anyway, uh, so this is a recurring team with Dawn Academy, like going into game number one. Um, what they basically do is make sure that they shut down the enemy safe lane, and that basically allows their uh, mid lane and safe laner to farm freely because they have to like sacrifice supports and. Uh, but that, like, with that said, so they, they need to make they need to make sure that the nice locker doesn't have a really good game as well because the yeah, nice locker can just yeah. really like the nice locker with pot can just like gank like uh, start flying around the jungle and killing like whoever's there, you know. Yeah, we've all had those pub games where that Night Stalker just yep. gets a couple of kills and just starts making rotations and being an annoyance in all of the yep. So that, that's, that's, a, that's a really good reason to why Night Stalker is always banned in the first stages. Yeah, I was actually really surprised because like you mentioned it early on, the Night Stalker is not really banned. And I was also really confused as to why they did not ban it. So yep. let's see if they punish them for not actually banning that hero. Yep. To be honest, it, it, the, the, winning circ the winning condition for Rayen is that the Night Stalker, the Night Stalker and Pucks goes and, and like... Uh, um, like, make sure make sure that the the morphling and the storm doesn't have a good game, and at, at the same time the rift king gets farmed. So that's the win condition. If if that happens, I can see Radiant winning the game. But if if it goes, if if Dyer just ends up winning, like, uh, like being able to farm up their items, like the agonims on morphling and maybe the orchid on storm, I would say this is a complete um, total storm from from Dyer. So yeah, I mean, I I would say. But def definitely, I, I definitely feel like uh, Dyer had a better draft, but this, it's not impossible for Radiant to win the game. So, um, yep, Storm me mid. Me oh, wait. Yeah, meanwhile. Is this a Razor mid? Is it? Let me check. Yeah, based on the items right now, it's just, it seems yeah. like it's a Razor mid. Okay, so Katsis is playing the Storm Spirit. Okay. Wow. This is very ballsy. Yep. I did not expect this. But okay, like, now the ra now the Wraith King might be able to farm. Yep, definitely. I don't know why would it not run the Razor off lane. Yeah, that that is very surprising. Like no, is Razor it, is, it, actually... is it because Caxis isn't like? Um, no, Caxis does play it. He does play it for sure. Like I know he plays it, but I don't know why he hasn't picking it up. Like definitely a bit of a confusing thing to see at the start of the game. Yep, yep. All right, now that we have the pause, do you want to introduce one of the two teams? All right, so basically. Uh, on the, on the Radiant side, we have Windmaker on Wind Ranger, uh, sorry, uh, Shadow Shaman, and then we have Patton on, on the Puck, and we have um, Night. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Besomwa, I guess? Yep. On yep. Night Stalker, Ray on Rave King, and Drac as the post 5 Abaddon, I think. Oh. Meanwhile, on the side of the Dire, we have Night Song on the Razor, we have a Morphling being captained by the Dova, Storm Spirit in the hands of Catseus. An Earthshaker being piloted by Lelouch and Wind, uh, and we have a Winter Wyvern being taken by Maz. Hmm. All right, so uh, the lane setup already very interesting. We yep. see a Storm Spirit going into the safe lane. Into oh. the safe lane. Why is he there? Is is this Storm? Actually, I'm not even sure what's the lane right now, man. It's so com it's so over the place, man. But yeah, what, what, what I can see is that Dyer definitely want to go for first blood bot. Yeah, they do. But then again, at the uh, same time, Radiant might want to do the same thing as well. Maybe? Okay, so the Radiant don't feel confident going top, so but the Dyer are definitely ready to invade, like the way they're setting up. Yup. So they, yeah, should, they should go top actually. Like, it's nice talking about it. Like, they're, very, they're two yeah. very tanky heroes. Yeah, yeah. They can definitely steal like, uh, very easily top. I don't know why they're not contesting. Yeah. Anyway, I, do you? I think this 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 is actually Razor mid, so this is quite surprising to me. I thought this was gonna be a Razor off lane. Oh, he's gonna get a root. Wow, he got it. All right, I think this is first blood now. To yeah, this is definitely first blood. And it goes to the Razor mid as well. This is really bad. Yeah, oh, and man. so things already going really bad here for anti fan losing the Wraith King early on and giving first blood. The first, like, of all the heroes, it's Razor that gets the first blood, so this is really good. Now, things might get a little hard for, for, for Puck. Okay, so Lelouch is soloing on this offlane. Uh-huh, this is... 
This is actually confusing to me. Yep. Like, so what, basically, what they, they, they basically want to make sure a morphling gets farmed, but I don't think they need to do. Uh, I guess they want to shut down Nice Talker as well, but yeah. But like, at what cost? Like, at yeah, the cost I, yeah. of Wraith farming? Yeah, I mean, like I said, like I said earlier, that one of the win conditions for Radiant is that the Rift King gets super farm. But and so, <laughs> look at these Q items, dude. Five yeah. coin base. <laughs> 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 But yeah, so anyway, um, let me go first. So, right. Ray, Ray definitely prepared going around. Who do you think will have the advantage oh, early on? Oh, they got the, the courier. Round. Wow, that's a good play. Now mid, now mid gets, um, faces a, diff a more difficult time on Puck against the Razor. Now that he doesn't have a courier. Yeah, he oh. will have to like go back every single time. Yep. So, basically, Abaddon, post five years doing Abaddon things. Yeah, just healing his, just heal uh, Healing and uh, harassing a bit more of the Mist Coil yep. until he goes down to 0 HP and he can deny yes. himself. Yep. Then you can see the sugar cutting creeps. Yep, this is definitely the only thing you can do right now, considering that you're alone and like you, there's no way you, if you show yourself against the Rave King and Shaman, you're gonna die in about 10 seconds. So this is definitely the wise choice as um, yeah, he's basically alone, so this is gonna be tough for him. But, All right. but, so but the they have to now that they do this, they have to make sure that the Morphling gets farmed, but if, if he doesn't, things might just go badly, you know? Meanwhile, mid lane, Razor definitely stomping in the early levels here. Hey, wait a minute. Is, is this a storm post four jungle? Oh my god. Oh my god. What? What? <laughs> what? Oh my god. What? Oh, that's ATDR has reached new heights, ladies yep. and gentlemen. That's some interesting shit. Oh, Razor's low. He won't die, but damn, he's very low. He's forced to pop yeah. himself. But like, once again, the Radiant does not have a courier, so. This is... In theory, like, Razor should just destroy mid, but the puck is doing pretty well in terms of, like, uh, matching, like, the CS, so... I say that, but he... Oh, no, he's fine, but... Yeah, it, honestly, like... The lightning stage is going really well for Radiant so far, honestly. Like, I think all the costs are getting farmed. Even... The, the, the nice talker is still getting, like, quite a lot of CS. He's 12th and 4 right now, and he's level 3, so... He's sitting pretty well. Dude, I really think like they should have leaned the Storm versus the Puck, honestly. Like, yeah, I have like, no I, idea like, why like, this crazy. Storm can... He, he may not mid win the, la the lane, but like, he can definitely like uh, break even, at best. Anyway, so... Uh, yeah, the Shaker's not getting much as well. He's getting his levels. He'll get level 3 for this for sure. But... Might even like... Okay, not, not level 4, but level 3 for sure. So, I guess that's pretty good. But... Yeah, just... Dyer is just running a very, very greedy, greedy um, laning stage. We was, oh, and the song suicides. <laughs> Interesting. Calcius doing Calcius things. Yup, pretty much. Is not your time. Uh, Rave King is still farming pretty well. So yeah, like I said, Ra the laning stage is going very well for Radiant right now. If I if I was a Radiant, I would be really happy. Yeah, and I, I definitely feel like it just comes down to that play to run the Razor mid. Like, it's just given this Wraith King a, such an easy time, and he's yep. gonna go on, on the loose right now, getting really low. Oh. We'll be able to, like, get his salve off and survive. Like, you can, you can just, yeah. look at, just look at the amount of vision the Wraith King has. He has four tangles and, and a salve. He's not, he is not afraid to just trade uh, hits with the Shaker. Yeah, like, they, they've definitely left a Wraith King free on his own in yep. the bottom lane. I do not know what the I thinking just, is. I completely, yeah, I just, I don't see why they would do that. The only bright side to this is that they have, they have four calls farming instead because, you know, I guess Tom is going to be pretty much played as like the fourth call, you know? The, the yeah, but you, but, you, but you look at the, look at the fact that the Morphling, among all the cores in Last Hits, is at the bottom. Yeah, like, it's like, like, like the Morphling Morphling is 23 and 6 compared to the 14-0 of Morphling, like, this exactly. is not a good Morphling game. Like, and like, yeah. It's gonna turn night in about 15 seconds as well, so I, I, this is definitely, it's not gonna get any easier. Yeah, so the early game definitely in the favor of NTFM, yep. and they're basically doing very well in both the side lanes. Yep. But like, like I said, I, I, as I expected earlier, like this is gonna be like a very like passive early to mid game, unless the Radiant make a lot of moves. Because yeah, like looking at the side of Dyer, like they have like, what are they, what are they meant to do in the early mid game? They have, a they have a jungle storm and they have a morphling, so. There's really not much you can do except farm, so... Yeah, That's both it. teams are looking to go for those greedy cores who like to farm a bit and get their core yeah, items online. But, but like, like um, make the, 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 soccer, the nice soccer and the puck can definitely make plays, for sure. Well, as they let the Rift King farm. 
That, yeah. that shit. I think Storm is doing pretty well. I think the farm is wrong. And the Abaddon dies. The cat dies. Wow. That's not good. Yeah, that is definitely that's not good. good. I feel I... like that's a that's a suicide attempt prevented there from Catsius. Yeah, probably. That's interesting. Anyway, like the, the stalkers just bully the morphling honestly. Just like jump, just like keep going, like just start trading hits with the morphling or something because you're not you're not stalker at any time. So just I don't I don't know why he should he should be playing more aggressive than, than, than this for sure. The Night Stalker is at the top of the CS charts right now. Yeah, he is, but like, he, he also wants, like, he should be a bit, a bit more aggressive, down. you know, like, he, like, his goal is to shut down a morphing, not get farm, you know? Especially You're during the fact that it's nighttime, right? So yeah. in nighttime, you definitely have to make some plays. Oh! <laughs> uh, Abaddon just doing Abaddon things again. Yeah. <laughs> he's trying to make, he's, he's basically making sure that the Storm doesn't get farmed, which is probably the right play, honestly. Because the, the Night Stalker can definitely lay in a lane alone, alone right now. Dude, look at the storm right now taking all these stacks. Yeah, like, yeah, oh yeah, my yeah, god, this is, this is good. This is pretty enjoyable. Oh, Razor's the it. Oh, the Abaddon gets a kill on the Razor. Why, bro? Wow. I think, yeah, this is definitely. Oh, he mistimed it. That's good. So that's the second time that the uh, Abba has basically mistimed the uh, Miss Hall yep. tonight. I didn't get to see the first one though, as I was focusing on the other lane. So, anyway, we see. Rifki is not doing as well as I expect he'll be. He's okay. He only has 31 assets in 7 minutes, which is pretty underwhelming, personally. Like, the shaker is level 6 too, so it, as, as the offense shaker in terms of levels is doing pretty well. Considering, yeah, that, he's so, he, considering that he's solo right now, he's actually getting the best of uh, getting like a really good lane. Yes. Yeah, but the fact is, like, he needs to be farming as well. Like, he wants to get that uh, blink dagger online, especially by 20, 20 minutes. And at the pace that he's going right now, he's not gonna get it yeah, done. That's like, true. 11, yeah, 11, eleven last hits and two denies in seven minutes is yikes. Yup. How's the morphing doing? Morphing is stalker is still doing very well. It goes yes. Yeah, he, he's just stomping that lane as nice stalker. Like you're right, he needs Actually, to be a bit more active. If but... he's he stop, he will, I, I will only consider him as stomping if he if he pressurizes the morphing out of lane, which he isn't. So it's going well for nice stalker, but at the same time, he's not he's not he's definitely not stomping the lane. Yeah, you're right. Like maybe a bit more aggressiveness yeah. is needed in this lane from the night stalker. Yeah, like, yeah this is fine. Like right now. And you just, you just like keep running towards the morphine that keeps coming. Because it's, it's night time. You have to. You have. You're basically at your at your at your peak at night. Oh. Morph. Meanwhile, morphs into the night stalker. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, morphine is not. Oh, I missed the kill. Oh, oh the part rotated. I see. Well, that's a good rotation. So. Radiant mid shaker. towers coming apart. Yeah. Meanwhile, look at Cassius again, man. I think he should be fine. Huh? Yeah, he's fine. The the Wyvern was the Wyvern was in a good position to save the morphing, so that's pretty good. Oh, he might get caught out, though. Oh, okay. Okay, the Wyvern right. is definitely dead. The Wyvern is dead after. Oh, Can I he do anything to save the oh, morphing, though? The puck dies. Oh no. The puck is dead. But the morphing is in a lot of trouble now. The Night Stalker uses his ult. Yep. Able to spawn him. out, Shadow Shaman, Abaddon, he has backup, can they get this kill on the kill? Morphling? Oh, at the meantime, they kill Bot, so they killed the safe in Rift King. And they saved the Morphling, so this is really good for Dyer. Yeah, oh. this is definitely yeah, I say that, but alright, I think Morphling should live. Yeah, he's fine. Wow, Yeah, that was a good rotation from Razor. Knowing the fact that um, reincarnations on cooldown, they, 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 they used the timing of it very well. Radiance yeah, massive things massive coming out on the morphling game. Yep. <laughs> They're definitely not happy with that. <laughs> but yeah, that my friend, that's what happens when you play a morphling with strength and energy game. That's yep. what he can do. I mean, I I just they were so con like the two supports were after the wyvern, but like only the puck was chasing after the morphling, so it was kind of like uncoordinated. Yeah, did you see the fact when mid game they were like so confused as to which target to go for? Like they wanted to go for the Morphling, switch to the Bra switch to the Winter Wyvern, allowed the Morphling to survive, ended up killing the Winter Wyvern, but then the Morphling just lives and uh, they get a kill bottom on the way on the way. <laughs> anyway, so I guess all right, back to the network. So Night Fox is leading the way, followed by Razor, which is very close by the way. And um, I've been yeah, the shaker. Oh. is being gone on. 
Those are the two man dream coil. Will be able to survive this? He might survive because of that. Yeah, he's fine. But yeah. that's no dream coil though. So uh, that's yeah. still really good for for Dyer. Yeah, it is a relatively uh, a long cooldown though. Like a minute this early on. Yep. Okay. So it gives, it gives more space to the morphling, I guess, to farm. Yeah. No. I said that if he actually goes and jungles, because I don't know why he's just staying in lane right now. Look at Cassius' last assist right now. <laughs> 76 and oh man. On who? On Cassius, the storm. Oh, the storm. <laughs> so like jungle it's... storm, definitely a thing. This is not Pepega. This is not Pepega. It can work, <laughs> but like, it's really, really greedy. Because like I said, yeah. the, the lane space. But then again, really has been gone on again. The Razor, Highlands, right. but has a lot of damage. The pop yeah. might die. One more right oh, he, oh, he lost vision. He's not gonna die, but like, oh, oh what a waste. That, yeah. That's just sad. Oh, Meanwhile, now the Razor is being turned on. Here comes the Night Stalker, Night Time. Oh. Gets the Abaddon. Will he survive though? That is a big question. The Night Stalker is still giving chase. Nope. He might live on Razor. Yeah, he's fine. And he is able to live. So oh, but the Wyvern is going for the Wyvern now. Nah, okay, he's dead. For sure. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, yeah, so. right. They get something at least, and there's some earned charges as well, so it's not so not too bad, but they use yeah. Dark Ascension for that, so... Yeah, definitely not ideal, but no. definitely not like a complete loss. Yeah, yeah, as yes, they get the earned charges. But at this, then again, the Morphling has space to farm now, and the Razor lives, so that's the important thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but... Meanwhile, oh, he's not a creep! Oh no! Oh, oh my god, he's fine. He, 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 won't, he won't die, he won't die. He'll shackle shot. He'll de he's definitely not gonna die over here. The Rift King might be around though, the Rift King! Oh, okay. okay. Oh, this is gonna be bad. The Shaker is over here. The Shaker will be able to get the stun off. They're oh. going for the Shadow Shaman as well. Once again, it? they need to focus on one target. Now, because of, of the. Uh, yep, now both live, yeah. I think. Oh, the Echo. Oh my god, the Echo Slam absolutely totally oh, the suicide. Fight. He's suicide. He's getting to. But they do get the suicide on, on the Abaddon. I still yeah. think it's worth it though. Yeah, they like, get the Rift King. They get the Rift King. That's the important thing. Yeah. Like I said, they, like this, uh, the early game shouldn't go this well for a die right now, honestly. Yeah, it oh. was a beautiful Echo Slam there by the Shaker. That was a good Echo Slam, yeah. That circuit the yeah. two kills. Yeah. Anyway, but with that said, Morphling is getting farmed now. Although like, yeah. right, he isn't as farmed as you want him to be, but if, sooner or rather, I guess. If, if Radiance are not allowed to go into the Dire Jungle, the Morphling in, uh, in theory should have a really good game, but that all depends on how uh, Dyer and Radiant plays, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're going on the Shaker. They're going on the Shaker There's in no the bottom lane, Abaddon. Um, no, I don't think they have it's not enough damage. It's not a kill. Do you feel like it's standard for the uh, Abaddon to not level up uh, a Photic Shield? Yeah, even this is at not level... standard at all. I thought he would go at least... Um, I can, I can definitely see why he didn't go for a, 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 a Photic Shield, but... Damn, that's a greedy build. <laughs> yeah, like the the team fights have been so close. Maybe the aphotic shield would have made that little yeah. difference to turn it around, and you know. I think uh, he definitely should have returned one level at least because you you want to yeah. have the perch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sure the drill. I feel like this is a very greedy build. I I, I don't think it's a it's a good build. Mm, anyway, so Fucker is Night Fucker is just farming up his uh, speed wrestle. It's about I would say one thousand about <coughs> about one by one k go away from it. Then Meanwhile, in the room, who's gonna go for it? Park gets it. Park gets it. He's gonna live. He has vision of him though. Does he? he? No, he, he does not. He he okay. ran out of the sentry. Well, that's the razor out the uh used. So yeah, and for what? For nothing actually. Just a couple of creeps. Die. Sorry. They see the storm. The green one hit. They might get. They might get him. It's the night time here. He's dead. Yeah. Yes, that's the night stalker and the puck combo. Will we'll be able to get this? Stone spirit. Spirit. He gets the kill as well. That's a really good kill. Yeah, that is really, really That's valuable really for them. Yup. They might get tier 1 bot as well. Let's just get the power, man. There you go. Yeah, this will be the top. This will be the tower for sure. The Abaddon, no way he gets the eye off over here. That's yep. pretty good. That's pretty good. That's an all event. So, Rave King is about 4k off Radiance. Oh. Meanwhile, bounties. Will there be a fight here? Um, uh, they might get, get the, the Rift of Iron bottom here. Oh. oh, the Wild Wind oh. with the beautiful ult. Is oh, this enough might, to kill the oh, Abaddon? Oh, he doesn't have mana. He didn't have mana. Oh, if he had mana, Ray he would kill the Abaddon. I, th I think this Wraith King uh, oh. is able to kill him, right? Yep. Gets oh, the kill. This. Meanwhile, Shadow Shaman oh, being nice. gone on. Cast this. Chases Windmaker. Gets yeah, him that time. <laughs> wow. 
The secret dice as well, by the way, but yeah. So basically, this this is this is more towards a shaker post 4, because he already has his blink and like the build he has right now is basically what you expect of a post 4. Yeah, he he recovered really well. I mean, seven minutes, it wasn't really looking like he was going to get this blink dagger anytime soon, and now he has it at 15 minutes. Yeah, Can now he, like he, he did rush it though to be honest with you. He didn't get any yeah. other items, so yeah. But done yeah, that the, is the blink is still is still good. As now they can really start fighting. Really yeah, the echo now comes into big time, and every time he has it, like they just take a fight with the echo slam and the blink dagger combo. Yep. He is smoked up here, so let's see where he chooses to go. They are looking top. They're the looking night stalker. They might get the get him. No, actually no. I think I think that his position is fine. Can't do nothing. No, oh, he's coming. Actually, he's oh, coming. Right now. He's coming. Radiant's top. He spots the Shadow Shaman. The Shadow Shaman gets the hex off. Oh, what's it? That's a, this is the stun? I mean, he's still dead, but. He gets the Shadow Shaman oh, anyway. I bet him dies. Radiant's top. Yeah, but the Abaddon. I mean. The Morphe got a kill as well, so that's not good. Oh, Stalker? Now they're going for the Night Stalker. Is yep. this going to be enough? The Night Stalker closes the distance. Wraith King gives a bit of a backup to the Night Stalker in order Listen, to. Listen, Mana, let's see. Listen, Mana. I bet him by his back. Abaddon, Abaddon with the buyback. Yep. Shaker misses the stun. Raven does have power, so will respawn in a bit. The Shaker about to die. Will they be able to they find the Razor? They find the Razor. Razor as well. Oh. They're going for it. Out comes the stun. Is the damage enough? It's enough. It's enough. That's it's good. Enough. That's good. They were, they, they were way too aggressive on Dyer. Yeah, they really that were. That was way too greedy. Yeah. But with all of, uh, with, with that in mind, the Morphling is still having quite a good game, I would say. Yeah, the Morphling now definitely recovering and feeling like he's having an impact in the mid-game. Yep. Wow, he's almost caught up with the fight and the radiant. Yep. If you look at that network actually, like all the calls for, are, are so close in terms of net worth. Yeah, very, very even close. Steven's game so far, mm -hmm. even as we head into the mid-game. Yep. You were definitely right when you said it was going to be a blood death, and so we are yep. getting, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Pay two kills in 17 minutes, it's not bad. Yep. But I, I guess it might die down. It might die down a bit now because now they're looking just get uh, secure farm on both of their carries. It okay. doesn't look like it as Dawn Academy with a smoke oh, heading smoke. into they the They want to go after the Wraith King, I guess. They, they know he doesn't have reincarnation. Oh, Wraith King, you oh, need to back really off right now. Oh no, the Razor spots him. He does have blink. Will he, he jump here? He can jump. Oh, he might die. Actually. Yeah, he's dead. And the Wraith King is dead. Yeah, There's no way. Yeah, that's there. a good. That, that was a good rotation. This is, this machine is, he's, he, he, he now is, um, his timing of, uh, for, to get the Radiance is getting, is getting slower and slower. Oh, Meanwhile, Wind Cabal is going on the puck. Oh, they might get him actually. They have the lockdown. This might, puck might be dead here. They see him. Oh, they have oh, vision. Wow. Use the Echo Slam as well. I do feel like that was for though. Like, they didn't really No, no, I think, I think the Echo Slam was fine. They, they, they needed need to make sure that he wasn't out of the sentry. Okay, but the Echo Slam is now down for 140 seconds. Oh, but this is fine. They're going oh. in. They're going in. They're not scared of the Night Stalker at all. They're not, yeah. Abaddon, will he be able to keep it's him alive? He won't. The Abaddon out pops. Yep. This is looking really bad for the Abaddon here. Four heals oh, over no. here. Oh, no. Deals the Razor. Oh, and, and there's an Abaddon. What are you doing? Oh, okay, he might get a Razor. Maybe. Okay, yeah, he's it. All right, all right. I think that's worth it. He gets the Razor. He, he, okay. he gets the Razor. He gets the razor. That's pretty good. Windmaker with a win making play. Yep. Beautiful. That was pretty good. Although, uh, yeah. he, he might have fed wards, but he gets the kill on Razor, so that, that's... It, it, can, it makes that worth it, I guess. But with that said, though, now the, the, now the Storm and Morphling is just running away in terms of net worth, really. Morphling is also getting closer and closer to Aghanims, and, and you know what happens when we see fucking Shaker and Morphling when they get Aghanims. It's fucking disgusting. Yeah. I know it myself. Yeah. I want. I want to kill yeah. myself whenever I see it. <laughs> yeah, I completely agree. Like yeah. they just run around the map and uh, yeah, have been guilty of uh, doing that as a shit. They just win games. Like yeah. Yep. Oh, bounty wins coming up. They might get. Dyer might get all four actually. Okay, no, they might get. No, they might get all four. Okay, no, maybe not. Yeah. Okay. They get. They get three. I would say. If the Dyer, if they go for top, which they aren't right now. So NTFN are sticking, which means the top runes are definitely belonging to DWN. Yeah, it, but Shaker it, it, likes not to go for the rune though. Very surprising. Anyway, so... 
Okay, yep, Storm is getting closer to Orchid actually. This is really bad. If, if Storm gets Orchid, the, he, the puck just dies because he doesn't have anything to save himself right now. He might get yeah, used, is... he, he might get used, but... Yeah. Uh, like... This is going to be one of those items which we say is a game-changing item on yep, Storm. Yep, definitely. Because once you get Storm on Orchid, you can make plays as well. Oh! Meanwhile, they're going mid oh, yeah. onto the puck. Use the Winter Rider and out. He, he, I think he will live. He should be fine. Oh, he dies! Oh my god! Oh, he dies! Oh my god! You are the Night Stalker! The oh, Night Stalker is... Fucker. Absolutely destroys. Oh, they might get a raise. They might get a raise. The Puck back. Puck back. Oh, going on the raise. Oh, 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 but it's not enough, though. I think the raise is not enough, though. The raise. Oh no, actually, the raise is enough. Oh, oh, maybe. Oh, he can't. He dies. The night stalker will be able to survive. Gatius comes out with the kill. All right, he gets the night stalker. So. This game going back and forth like yeah, every it's second. Just so much, it's just so much action right now happening. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. But this at the, is the but at the same time, Mothling has been farming quietly with his 1k or uh, 900 gold off Aghanim. Yeah, this is something that MTFN continually ignore and I feel like it's going to explode right in their face at some point. Like, this Morphling just staying out of the team fights, farming on the sidelines, always choosing the lane where there's no action. And as soon as you get the Aghanims, it's going to be fireworks. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so yep, very close. Yeah, this, for nothing. this is yeah, this, this is they're dire about to hit the timing actually. The storm almost is okay as well. So this is like once they once the perceptor on morph the perceptor on morphling and the orchid on uh, on storm comes out, this is where dire can fight honestly. Yeah, even the shakers from the agonist right now, and he's about three k go off. It's not quite fast. So. Visibility. But yeah, this is dire is looking. This this, 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 I, 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 I do this. still feel like this game is like so close. Like you cannot actually like predict what is actually gonna happen. Yeah, I don't think it's as close as it, as it seems. Right now, right now Dyer has the clear advantage for sure. Oh, but Rifkin gets radiant though. He finally got it. Anyway, all right. So, so the puck playing it safe, TPing back. Is he getting used on puck? No, oh, he's getting that gone. That's so greedy. I, I don't like this. You have to get used, puck. If you don't get used, yeah. you're gonna die in the storm. Okay, but yeah, then again, I don't... you have you, you have abandoned, but like, if the storm finds you solo, you're basically fucked because you don't die, you just die. I don't I don't think like the burst on uh, Puck Dagon is going to be enough, especially when they have a Winter Wyvern, right, to protect any of the cores that he Dagons. Yeah, I mean, I don't like this. Oh, they're sticking though. They might take a fight bot, but the mo the racing isn't isn't there. He has TP on. Oh, they smoked on from Radiant. They're looking to fight. Oh, they might run into each other. Oh. They do run into each other. Oh, that's good, that's good. Oh, wow. What a burst. Oh, no. This is really bad. Meanwhile, looking for the Echo Sun. Can we get it off, though? Because the next stop is really close. It's a beautiful... Oh, wow. They actually... It's a beautiful turnaround. Three people on the side of Dawn Academy. They fought They fought without the Razor. I don't get it. Like, they actually fought without the Razor. Like, what? Yeah, it was really confusing why they fought without the Razor. That is the question that like, I have to ask. What happened after that, actually? Like, how did they just turn around so successfully? So, uh, Earthshaker blinks in in order to Echo Sam, but cannot actually do anything because oh, Night Stalker has already popped second. Oh, so, no. So, Crippling Fear disables him. The Silence and then, the the Stalker Silence basically kills him. Yeah. yeah, and then Texas just pops out in the middle of everything, and yeah, the damage is just too oh, much. Oh, shit. K2 yeah, should go to the real Dyer right now. Ah, uh, Radiant, sorry. Yeah. Suddenly, game looks pretty good. There's so, so many trolls happening back and forth. Though. This is such a action-packed game. Bottom tower got blown to yeah, this game oh. is like really interesting. Meanwhile, the storm oh, spirit is going for the pump. Uh, the pump is firing. Will it be enough? Probably not. The pump gets the out. Will we be able oh. to get out? He, he's. Okay, I think. Meanwhile, there's right. a separate fight going out in the bottom lane. They're trying to oh. get the nice soccer. Will be. Successfully, oh, guys, he's done. He's and done. Bye bye. So three dead immediately on the side of MPF. Just when they were looking in the ascendancy, Dawn Academy reassert their dominance on this game. Three K lead. Twenty four minutes into the game, will be able to secure the bounties as well. Yep. I just want to ask, uh, who's trying to win the game here, man? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't look like anybody has a game plan. No one wants to. No one wants to win, man. It's just basically the uh, everyone just passing around the no you, man. Just yeah. <laughs> other than other, other than the uh, morphling, who is just like getting stronger and stronger, starting work on that BKB yep. has that agony style. I feel like this is just a ticking time bomb. Yep. And it yeah. And it will. I, 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 okay. Now, if uh, if once 
every uh, every single call from Daya gets BKB. What is what is Radiant meant to do? Yeah, that means he has Winter Rose. What is he doing here? Oh, he's oh, clipped himself oh. and he's dead. Oh, and he's dead. Oh no. But they they, they, they popped the Dark Ascension though. Yeah, they did pop the yep. Dark Ascension for that. So probably a bit of an overcommitment there. Yeah. Damn, nice circles, nice circles. Went, went for so much traffic. He didn't go for it again. Yeah, which is very surprising. Yep. I would have thought that he would have gone for it. Yup. I can see why he got the solo crest, because it's still a good item, but... Okay, now he's going for Agonis, but... Yeah, maybe he should, maybe he should go to it earlier? I'm not too sure about that. Yeah, I agree. Like, I feel like timing would have been like yeah. 5 minutes earlier. I definitely, agree, I definitely agree with the first item vessel because you're playing as Morphling, so that, that's, that, that's not a question there. But... I think he should go to Agonis the second item, honestly. It's so strong, Agonis. It's so good. Like, I, I, I played it in pubs before and like, it's just so fucking broken. You farm so much quicker with it as well. Yeah, maybe not realizing the impact that an Aghanim would have had, and instead getting this item. Hey, wait, wait, just go for his BKB. Morphling is about, about, uh, 1.6. I want 2k off, uh, BKB as well. Storm is also about 2k off BKB. So right now, right, right now I think, Dyer should just chill a bit, like, mix, like, get the BKBs on the, on the course, and then start fighting again. Because right now, the, the puck is nowhere close to an Aghanim, if he's even getting it. Oh, oh, that was close. Anyway, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, I think this is the stage where the, the game dies on a little bit. You won't see as much action as this now. But yeah, Rift King has his blink. He's also close to BKB already. So basically, every almost all the costs are fucking BKB right now. Regeneration! They got the catch part, hello? In round, top lane, go Oh, he missed Dream Call! Oh no, they, yep, that, that's Dream Call wasted. And the Storm still has his regeneration rune, what the fuck? Oh, uh, after all, so he, so this, the Storm alright, he, he bait, he baits the Radiant team, he forces off the Dream Coil, risk maintaining his regeneration rune. What a boss. Anyway, so yep. Morphling is about 1.2k off BKB, so yeah, it's going pretty well right now for Dyer. They def Radiant definitely cannot fight without the Dream Coil. I can't believe fucking Jungling Storm is working out right now, man. This is so ridiculous. So Dawn Academy, looking at mid right now, mm -hmm. sticking together, meanwhile, in the top lane. So the puck's still going for the Hex. It's... I don't know, actually. I feel like... I'm not too sure how to feel about the Hex. It's very... it's a good item for sure, but... It's so greedy though, because now if the Storm just occupies him, he just dies on top for sure. There's no way you can save him. Unless the Abaddon is there, but... You know, he can't be he can't be everywhere. So the storm has BKB now already. And that's gonna be followed very soon. Uh, uh, the razor also has BKB. So in about uh, in about one or two minutes you will see three calls from Dyer having full 10 seconds BKB. Oh! Oh Ooh, imagine if they actually see the fuck there. But yeah, Dyer is they're about to hit the strike actually. It's it's almost inev inevitable when they start just steamrolling already. 30 minute runes coming up soon. They might. Okay. Night Stalker might be in a bit of trouble you here. You might not want to go there. So. Radiance Tower. Alright, he knows. He's been safe. Yes. So they get. Oh, the pot. The razor going on the pot. Oh no. He doesn't have bling, I think. Oh, he does have bling. Oh, he's right there. Oh no. Immediately gets silenced by yeah, the storm spared, and he's going wow. to die here. 
Dark Essence was popped as well. Wow. Regeneration. And the regeneration was Storm Spirit. Oh no. Oh my god. How lucky can you be? You kill a puck and you get a regeneration rune, dude. How. N n nice it's game, Valve. Just taken. fucking. <laughs> <laughs> totally balanced. Totally, totally balanced. Balanced. So now the Storm is just building blood for you. I'm not too sure. I guess it's fine because. You really have to be KB, so it's, I, I, I guess it's okay. Wyvern also turn. about to finish up his 4 staff already. Yup, he has it. In the the oh, tower. and the Morphling has BKB too. So, yup, all Radiant's 3 calls from Dyer have, yeah. have a full 10 second BKB, so it's definitely a good time to fight right now. Especially the fact that it's daytime and they have no dark ascension. Oh. And game is paused. Wow. So, um. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh dear me. So, um. You might be wondering how I got into this position right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this puss. Oh, he's back. He's back. He's just gonna probably. He's probably just like screaming to the game right now and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, this is not fair, dude. Okay, so they're gonna go on the Wraith King, immediately glimmered up, so can't really spot him. Oh, <laughs> However, he's feeling very ballsy, going into oh, the... so deep. ...and absolutely destroying... Oh. ...the Shadow Shaman over there. Wraith King out his pop. Oh, let's go! Let's go! This is not Oh, let's go! He went to Wyvern out. Oh no, this could be really bad, actually. Oh no, this could be a game, actually. Oh, wow. Okay, they, they lose morphing. Actually, no, they, this, this could be okay. They, they lost the morphing. And all the costs are very low. Alright. And, and they killed the racer. Kill. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, what a wow. turnaround. Oh, turn alright. Alright. Alright, I felt like Dawn Academy definitely overextended. I thought it, yeah, definitely. Dude, they were playing so aggressively. Like, the racer just popped BKB and like, after the, he, the BKB duration ran, ran down, and he was still like, he was still around here. Like, I, like, I don't get it. That was too aggressive. They should have just taken a Rex, dude. Yeah, like, it was definitely surprising. I don't know what they were thinking. For sure. Now, all right. So, Invisibility. Uh, although the the positive side is that the nice soccer bot was forced to buy back. That's the only. That's like one of the positives, I guess. But they don't even get tower, so not even close. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they didn't really they make any advantage of the, the fact way. that they were in their base already killed. Like the nice stalker, mm -hmm. end up losing four. They committed way yeah. too much there, for sure. Yeah. Y y yes, they forced the map off Nightstalker, but you lose everyone except the Storm, I think. Felt like it would have been much better if they would have headed to Roshan after getting one or two. Yeah, that's true. Oh, the Storm's facing. Oh, he gets the fight. Who's that? Oh, Shaman. Yeah, wow. so oh, every, every time this Shaman is uh, visible on the map, I feel like Storm's Spirit is just going to go in with the Hex. Meanwhile, two more. Storm's Spirit, dude. This is going to be enough, though. Oh, that's. I don't. That's the wrong target, though. It's fine, but if you still kill the puck, I'm not going to They do sick, huh? So it's a one for one so far. Yep. Let's see if they're able to get anything more. They might get a Rift King. So this might be a Rift King versus Rift King. The Rift King absolutely melts his ult. He's oh. so good at die. Oh, he, got, he gets a bring off. Oh. That was a pog link right there. That was a good thing. Anyway, Abaddon out pops. I don't think he survives this. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, but he gets away though. That was good. So the Abaddon accepts his fate and dies. Yep. Oh, wow. The Red King surviving there, like that was definitely critical. If he doesn't survive there, they just like go high ground over here. Yep. Okay, so they're looking at Broshan right now. So, all right. So, so they might get Roshan actually. They should get Roshan. Yeah, they're, they're, they're looking at Roshan oh, over here. Really slow, so far, not being contested. They yeah. don't even have an idea that this is happening. Yeah. Nobody's they can't, they can't this or nobody's going to come out. So the pings finally come out. Yeah, they can't do anything. They, the, the nice up is in condition to fight right now. So this is definitely, this is Roshan to die. So a free Roshan for Dawn Academy over here. Yup. So, for the ages. Alright. That's pretty good actually. My soccer is about 1.2k off Ag, so that's pretty good. But, yeah, honestly, it's just... 
It just seems yeah, to be a is. Raytheon has 5.2k gold on top of a Blink Dagger, BKB, and Radiance, so... I think he should get, he should get AC, I think. I think AC is very yeah. good. Yeah, AC will be very yeah. useful for the entire team. Yeah, and that's what he's getting. Burn him like a fucking bull. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He got three runes though, for uh, the three bounty runes. Going into the Wheel of Dire. With that, there's still one bounty rune bot, but I don't... Is anyone gonna pick it up? Stupendous! The storm almost has blood storm actually. In fact, I think it has it already. Okay, no, not, not yet. Almost. Yeah, he's very close to it. Nope. The Rift King has to finish up. Uh, the Rift King finishes up his AC. So actually, yeah, Dyer gets all four, four Monty runes, and with the Razor finishing up his Akinims as well. This is definitely a time to fight right now for. Yep, Bloodstone Computer on Storm as well. This is. I feel like this is the timing right now for for Dyer. They should definitely go high ground right now. Unless, unless they want to wait out the Manta on walking. I gave him some Puck actually. Alright, so at least now... Um, Puck has a way to deal with the BKBs from... Uh, from Dyer. Meanwhile, a smoke from NTFN. Oh. Right. So they're looking to take a fight. Mm -hmm. Wraith King is the bait here. Wraith King is the bait. He's going to come straight in the face of the Razor. Are they going to go for this razor though? Are they going to be able to execute successfully? The shackle, the shackles might no, come out here. This, this, this gang has already gone wrong already. Yeah. Oh, Storm, the oh, Guardian. Oh, oh, that's the Duke. Huh? That, that, that's an agonist part, by the way. Out comes the Shaman Oh, who's going to get this? Oh, this oh, no. oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's the white. That's the curse. The shaker dies though, but. Rave King hasn't popped his ulti yet, so... Yup! Oh no, Storm, Storm, no! That's not the way to go! Oh no! They lose 3, they might lose everyone over oh, here as the shot is not... Oh, oh, the oh Aegis no! Has the Razor will fall! Razor's dead! The Mark 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 Death. Oh my god. What? They didn't they didn't know that the puck had agonims. I'm not Dude, I felt like the shaker missing the e the yeah. echo as well. Like yeah. that was Is a large chunk of the damage just gone. They might get Rex now, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Razor Razor and Pokemon have my back. They might get Rex. Oh so, NTFN looking at making a comeback into this game yeah. one. I did not see this coming five minutes ago. It's, this should be Rex, for sure. You shouldn't be afraid, because like, the Rift King has BKB and Reclamation. He's definitely not, right, not afraid to fight. Yeah, this is Rex. I think. Oh. They're actually stuck right now, okay. Alright, yeah, this is, this is Rex. That's pretty good. Oh, they lose one. Yeah, oh. That is actually pretty good for them. Yep. We really lost the K3 bot though. Hours, you know, the creeps were pushing in. But yeah, this is really good for Radiant now. So, suddenly just... The Rift King is just really farming right now. They couldn't even kill the Rift King as far as they. I don't even think he popped Reincarnation in that fight. Did he? Yeah, he, uh, yeah no, I don't think he did. I yeah, don't think he, he did. I, I know he was very low, but I don't think he popped it. He didn't, and he managed to kill like the Winter Wyvern. Yep, and just all five die, so... I think like what happened was like the Winter Wyvern should have targeted the the alt on the Wraith King, but instead targeted on another target and ended up saving the Wraith King. I see, I see. Anyway, yeah, just just like that, the game is looking pretty good for for Radiant. One lane of Rex up, so yeah. So once again, everybody grouping up, staying close to one another, and looking at taking the next team fight. Yeah, it, it looks like the Abaddon actually opted for the Yu Scepter instead of the Vlads, which I think it's okay in a way because you, you want to like save your carry, I guess, from I uh, save like someone by using the enemy hero. And also, you can use a, you, can, you can also use yourself to purge off the orchid, so that's a pretty good item to pick up, I guess. I mean, the Abaddon just got like two point three three kill from the fight, man. So he was pretty rich, actually. He, I think he got like 3 kills in that fight, so... 
Yeah, he actually did. Yeah. Actually managed to finish the next item. Mm -hmm. Wyvern, he's about 100 gold off link, so... Oh, another fire finish on Rift King. So like, actually, with that... Radiance top towers taking oh. hits. Oh, we just trapped? Okay, not anymore. But they fought wards though. They're going in? Okay. Oh, she can hit. At least she can hit. Yeah, she can hit. She can hit. Oh, do you know? Why wouldn't dice in the back right? Morphic dead! Oh no! So buy back! Oh no! Once again, they don't they already lost the time. Oh that was close. Oh, that razor lived with Corner HP by the way. <laughs> Holy shit, that was really close. That was really close. Yeah, but like I said, Storm uh, the the morphling is out with a buyback. Interesting. They can just can. right now really can just push for mid and then just go straight and then just take tier three top or something. Storm is very close to twenty five as well. Yeah, that's true. He has arcane rune as well, so he, he can just keep destroying the wave. Yeah. They need to make sure that, that, that these seeds do not die. Alright, so NTFN are definitely going for it. Your mic's pretty soft, by the way. I can't really hear you right now. Oh, they're going with tier 4 actually. Yeah, they want to end the game. What can you do? The sticker, the sticker has ulti. Oh, the song gets caught. Oh. Is this the last fight here? Is this final? Oh, that's oh. beautiful echo oh, slam. Echo. But also, is it enough though? I don't oh. think it's going to be enough though. The shaker oh, goes no. down. Back. The storm buys back as well. The razor goes down. That's because dead. Get out, 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 get Oh, if he dies from here, he's dead. This could be game. This could be, this could be game. This, this could be game. This yeah. might be game. This, no, this is it. This is game. This is game. This is game. This is game. Wow. They actually negated the stop. Oh, they negated the freaking um uh morphing stop. Oh. Oh, actually, I say that. Actually. 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 actually <laughs> game's not over yet. The is going to die here, and they managed to save the game. Oh, game's not over yet. Oh my god. Oh, this oh. Okay! Alright, so that's the luck <laughs> and Night Soccer they have a buyback. Damn. I thought the game was over, but it wasn't apparently. NTFN? Wow. Definitely overextending their welcome there. Definitely. But I thought the game was for sure going to be over, but it's not. Maybe they should have focused on the racks instead of like taking maybe, fights Maybe, over. yeah. I, I feel like they should have done that actually. But with that said, they they they, they popped like. Mm. I feel like no one has buyback right now. Actually, let me see the buyback status for everyone. Only the Rift King has buyback. In fact, he might he might be forced into buyback king actually on Rift King. Yeah, he definitely has a buyback on Rift King. Which he does. Oh. Oh, Shaman's dead, I think. Oh, wow, it's just like that, he's dead. Holy shit. Is that a button? Oh. Oh, he gets echoed. He's fine, though. Oh, echo. Stop. Shaman's dead. Oh, I'm better dead, I think. Oh, shit. He should die, he should die. Oh, he's suicide. He's suicide. But. They're definitely gonna lose a set of racks here. Yup, that's Rax gone. 
Radiance mid rag. So the game is completely. Oh, the hills. They get lower. Radiance bottom rag. Go to get out. They, they, they can't fight this anymore. He does have reincarnate. Oh. So. Yep. Oh fuck. He's dead. He's, I think he's there. Fuck. Yeah, he's dead. Go back. back. Oh, what, why? God. Why was he so forward? Oh, oh no. And now they shake it off. Decides to go in. Yep. Wait, wait, wait for this fight. Will we be able to get the winter fight? Winter fight. Oh. Right. They want the fight. Nice back. Nice work. Is it? Nice work. Is it? Yep. He's not my back. Yep. This is just no game's over. Oh my god, GG! GG's GG called! Holy shit, the they actually lost the game! Oh, oh wow, what a game, what a game we had here, man! Damn! A beautiful game of Dota, that was a good game! Oh, wow! Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit! Just like, just like that! It was so back and forth, we all thought Radiant was gonna take the game, but then suddenly just... Yeah, the puck just questionably tipping into the tier 3! And instantly getting occupied by the storm, and just dies after that. Like that's questionable, dude. Yeah, I definitely feel like some of the plays there by anti fan like they were so close to winning. Like the ancient was on less than twenty percent HP, and that they end up dying. Everybody dies. They lose heroes over and over again, and eventually the game just ends. Yep. Wow. Oh shit! I forgot how to change it already. Uh. Oh yeah. Wow, so that was just a really back and forth game. Yeah, it really was. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a couple of minutes and then we're going to jump to game two to see whether NTFN can recover from the loss of game one and make a comeback or if DWN can clean sweep them and start the day with a 2-0 win. We'll be mm -hmm. back in a bit. So wow, that game was just very back and forth actually. Yeah, that game uh, was really That surprising. was a good game. That was good to watch, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So yep, that's just Dawn Academy taking game one, so... Oh my god. And what do you think about that game though, actually? Do you, I, I feel like we didn't have the game, actually. Like, they just... They just threw the game, honestly. I don't know why you didn't take Rex, to be honest with you. Uh, I will be right back. I need to create the lobby again, so give me like two minutes. Alright, right, right. Alright, yeah, so uh, what was the question? I mean, what do you think about that game? Because that game was just so back and forth, honestly. I mean, I feel like NTFN really threw there. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like at the end, they could have won that game. It was a back and forth game. You never really knew uh, which way it was going to go. It all came down to which team initiated better. Mm -hmm. um, if the Night Stalker was able to get the initiation off, there's no way that the Earth Shaker can just jump in and echo stamp. Yeah, like the more, the more attempts... Uh... The, the, uh, the amount of times I see Shaker is not getting off the, his, his echo was just quite a lot actually Like every time I, I see him just die instantly because of Night Stalker's silence And he doesn't get like echo off or something And then just the Radiant just wins the fight But honestly you're saying like It was The, the game took its turning point when When um No time for name They decided to go for the Ancient rather than just taking the Rex honestly That was the biggest throw Yeah like uh 
I think like NTFN right like when they were taking that ancient I don't know why they felt the need to like continually engage in fights at that moment like yeah like uh, honestly like to, to be honest with you right like, I feel like what they should have done is that the moment they saw the I think Puck and Storm bought back right they should not yeah. they should have just be like alright that's good enough and just uh I just accepted it you know yeah, but they, yeah exactly. they, they got greedy and like they just popped back at everyone and like they just they just went for the throne and like obviously it didn't work then the puck just yeah. like he into, straight into the tier 3 and then just immediately dies after that to the Orchid of Storm. Because once again coming coming into mind that the puck has zero defensive items. So without if the abandoned dead, the the puck is very, very vulnerable. Yeah. DWN have to be like commended though, like to have that mindset where you're loose less than 20% and to still be able to fight and come back from that. Yeah, they, they did they did pretty well, honestly. They, they actually had the game in the back. It just they, they, it was just that the final parts of the game where they made questionable decisions like to take the ancient rather than playing safe and, and taking the Rex. They went for an L, they went for an LGD versus OG play, man. Yeah, it was a really really good play for sure. Yeah, I mean, damn, bro, it's just it, it just they dealt they dealt with the moth shaker very well, honestly. Like. The nice of this just does very well in preventing the, the, the shaker from like getting off his echo slam. Yeah, like every time he jumps in, whether it's with Blink Dagger or the Aghanims, he is like, can't really get that echo off. Like one time we saw him completely miss his echo slam yep. because of it. Yep. Because like he knew that if he goes any more uh, closer to the enemy heroes, like the crippling player is just going to disable him from casting that ult. So, yep. yeah, it was very interesting. Mm -hmm. When is Game 2 coming out, by the way? Sorry? Uh, yeah, uh, Game 2 is about to start in a few minutes. All like, right. uh, we're just making sure everybody's in the lobby in the correct spots. And, okay. Uh, yeah, the lobby is created. I feel like the, you are not here. I see, I see. Hold on. Alright, there we go. Alright. Uh, join broadcast. Camera. Right. Cool. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to head into the draft for game two. If it's anything like game one, we're in for an exciting game of Dota, back and forth, complete bloodbath, nobody actually caring about strats, planning, <laughs> anything like that. It just seems to be the, the last game no one wanted to win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is what we want to see though, as a neutral. It's like, a good game, it, it was a really good game to watch. Oh, join my, join my channel by the way. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it was, but it was a very entertaining game to watch for sure. But it was, yeah, it was very, very messy though, to be honest with you. Yeah. That last fight, like, uh, my computer did not know what to do with that fight for sure. Alright, I All guess right, let's go. Let's go. Alright, so heading into the draft of game two between Dawn Academy seconds. and NTFN, do you expect something Radiance similar ban. to game one or do you expect different like I think they, they, they will definitely ban the mob shaker now already, I think. Or at least one of them. Yeah. And maybe on the side of uh um, Maybe on the side of Dawn Academy, they need to get rid of the Nice Talker as well. Yep, definitely. I'm just, I was just surprised they didn't get rid of it much earlier. Dyer's yeah, I was actually quite yep, shocked. There you go, yeah. gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in fact, yeah, Dawn sure. Academy was the one that actually banned it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Technical difficulties. Yeah, so Dawn Academy, like... <laughs> <laughs> they're, not, they're not dealing with that shit again, man. That, yeah. that, 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 that Nice Talker <laughs> actually saved the game, to be honest with you. Yeah, he did. On so he, he was the main reason why Radiant were actually like able to fight. Uh, almost won the game. Ten seconds yeah. to go. Radiant's ban. Respect ban on the quad there. So 
taking out Katz's squad from the pool. Let's see what the second set of bands are. They banned Pop again? Band. They banned Phoenix already? Radiance band. Basically the same bands as last game to be honest with you. I guess, the, yeah. I guess bo both teams uh, respecting each other. I, I, I'm assuming like each team like is like really good, uh, individually really good at playing Phoenix and Bounty Hunter. Yeah, yeah. This is definitely bands which come up based off the research that both these teams have yep. on uh, like players that the uh, heroes that the these players play very comfortably. Yep. So basically, they, they, they clearly respect the like um, the heroes, like like the uh, the, 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 the individual skills on uh, the individual skills on the particular hero. So Don out the Ember Oh, Visage? Oh, is this is this Visage? Is this Visage? Oh no! Oh my God! Oh my okay. God! Is this is this? The Ladies and gentlemen, you will be very interested to know that Cassius has a twenty-seven win streak on Visage. Are you serious? Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! I, I, I actually cannot believe that NTFN forgot to ban it. Like every oh, team, like when they play Don Academy, they go. ban this Visage. This is like the first ban, and I don't know. Why they wouldn't ban this. But then, like, but I, I don't seconds. think Visage was banned last game. I think it, I think it was like it, it wasn't. I don't think it was. Yeah, I'm very confused why they didn't pick it last game. Though. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess they wanted to run, run the morph shaker this, uh, last game. Now yeah, they yeah, just yeah. go Visage. Dyer's pick. Did they yeah, pick lot? Oh, Io. Oh wow, I haven't seen that here in a long time. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> it's it's a wisp versus a Visage. Okay. I see. All right. NTFN do not give two hoots about this Visage pick. Mm -hmm. I actually haven't seen uh, Io in such a long time. Yeah, I haven't seen Io. <laughs> it, it felt, it, it felt like the, the, the hero was like nerfed to the ground, dude. Yeah, it really was, dude. Like uh, OG that broke the game with it in TI, and after that, it just like Ice Probe was like not kind to the hero at all. <laughs> what do you think they're going to pay, pair this Visage with, though? They might go Underlord, Underlord actually. They might do the Underlord and uh, Visage combo. Oh my god, that is going to be... <laughs> yeah, I don't want to say they call the game at minute 1, but it's going to be really difficult. <laughs> yeah, especially... I mean, the, the the fact that you just mentioned that Cassius Ca uh, Cassius has the freaking... Uh, 27 game winning streak, is it? On Visage? Radiance yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick, Radiance Pick. Oh, you feel like Dyer's Band. Oh, they actually oh did it. You disgusting fuckers. God. Oh my. <laughs> you cheeky fuckers. You went for Morphing Shaker and now you do this? Yeah, so the Dawn Academy coming up with all the cheese here. They are not playing around. With cheese like this, you you, you might think they're an Italian team, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? 10 yeah. seconds to go. <laughs> oh my god. I, oh, then again, like, no time for them is. They're not even bringing any of the calls yet. Yeah, so but far, like, the drop is like very like open still. I, I re I really do think it's a bad like opening though. Like the wisp, if the Visage familiars get close, dies. The lion, same like really squishy uh, support. So I don't know. Like I would have seen, I would have liked to see like tank your support supports. Maybe like an ogre or something. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Cause yeah, like yeah, like like you said, the lion just melts to the Visage and I thought. Yeah. But anyway, Radiant's banned. There's so much. They actually banned techies. <laughs> they actually yeah. banned techies. <laughs> yeah, so they do have like a techie specialist on NTFN. Oh, they do? So, yeah, they, he is like, I think, a platinum tier techies. Oh, oh my god, that's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, so he, he does ruin people's games, but not Dawn Academies. <laughs> so out comes the gyro ban and the faceless void is ban. Yep. I don't know why they banned faceless void, to be honest with you. I, I, don't, I don't think void fits in well with their draft. Yeah, it really doesn't. Yeah, right? yeah, I don't know why they banned it. Like, Ten seconds like to a Visage go. cannot fight inside a uh, Chrome. Yeah, so it, it, it just seemed redundant to me. Five like, seconds. What a waste of a ban, honestly. I wouldn't be surprised if, if, if Radiant actually go for a ban. Yeah, yeah Abaddon, big. like, uh, it, it definitely, like, uh, fits with their playstyle so far. So yeah, I because, be like, it, yeah. He, 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 can you just imagine like uh, the curse of of Venus on the tower and the, the Visage and Undot just hitting it? The tower will just get destroyed instantly, dude. Yeah, it, it will just melt for sure. Yeah. Do familiars gain it as well, right? Like with the four hits? Yeah, yeah, it's, I think it's it. I think every every single allied unit gets the curse of, of Venus buff. Yeah, yeah, that will be OP. Yeah, that'll be really strong. So, uh, uh, they might pick a better, a better actually, but yeah. 
this is definitely a really good abandoned game for Radiant. Whether it be support or core, but I think it will be support this game. Uh, unless, they're, un unless they're willing to run the POS 3 abandoned and POS 1 unlock. But then again, like, Taxi is. Does, does, does she usually play like the post tree Visage or what? Uh, who? Cactus? Uh, yeah, Cactus, sorry. Uh, Cactus is like he can run it either mid or post tree. Ah, I see, I see. So this, this could be a mid Visage actually. Yeah, so like, it, they don't really reveal where this hero is going to go. That is not a very open. Oh, let's see, girl. Okay, oh yeah, maybe, maybe now you don't go for Abaddon. Yeah. And maybe now you should ban Timbersaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely feel like that's a good ban. Oh. Like, you don't want to be giving him reactive armor stacks and with this draft, like, he'll definitely gain a lot. Ten seconds to go. So what do you think, what do you think, uh, NTFN really should do right now, though? Five seconds. I'm actually really scared for NTFN. Like, I am, I don't know I, I'm actually scared right now as well. Like, I, what do you do? Like, look at this Undying, like, this Undying is just going to weaken you every single time Radiant's with the game. Uh, the Underlord is just going to add extra damage okay. every... Okay... I, I don't like where the direction that the NTFN draft is going in. Yeah, I, I have no idea what they're trying to do right now. Like, <laughs> I, I, I'm just as lost right now. I don't know what's happening. Like, uh, this, uh, well, <laughs> it just seems that they're, they're in a total uh, disarray after they, they saw the Underlord and Visage getting picked. Yeah, they were just like, I feel like this, internally they might have just thought, yeah, okay. This oh, and then they call to, oh my god. Dawn Academy just out drafting them at the Dude, moment. Dude, th this nice draft from Raiden, uh, from Dawn Academy is looking very scary right now. Yeah. Yeah, this is just like, I feel like most other games, like 20 to 25 percent defend depend in the drafting phase where they're won and lost, you know? And yeah, you do. Like, how, like, what's the win condition for Radiant? Uh, Dyer, Dyer, sorry, Dyer. Five seconds. Like, what do you do? I, I, like, I feel like you definitely need to come out with some of your own cheese strats in order to counter some of this, you know? Like, if uh, they have a Visage, then you need to, like, come out with something, I don't know, maybe like an Arc Warden? Anything out of the box, to be honest. Mm -hmm. That's true. But what do you even pick here, actually? I, I'm not even sure. I'm trying to think right now, like, I, I just Radiant's don't see pit. how Dyer can do pretty well. Like, even the Sanking lane is going to get destroyed by Undying. I actually can't think of any safe. Yeah, like I, I, I like I'm the lot. Right I'm the lot. Koto will probably just wreck you as well. Yeah, yeah. So this is very scary. Like the Koto okay. may not. The Koto's weak laning stage can be overcome with the un unlock in the same lane. So yeah. Can you imagine them Ten fighting to the Willow Wisp, Tombstone, Underlord, and the Sun? Yup, you just die. Yeah, even yeah. like the the Sanking can happy something in, but like if the Underlord has pipe or something, like what do you? What else do you do? Yeah, like, yeah. You just get a pipe on, on one of the cores and like suddenly like they have no damage. If one of them gets a mech as well, like all that damage is just negated by one point. Yup, so yeah, yeah it's just with the right item builds from Radi Radi from, from uh, Dawn Academy, they can just honestly just storm this game, but yeah, yeah, I feel, who, I feel who knows, who knows. We, we saw last game that they actually uh, did very well did very well against the Morphling Shaker, but it's just, it's just uh, mistakes that they add cost them. But nonetheless, they, they, they put up a very good fight. But yeah, I don't know. But this game, it just looks like a fucking lost cause, dude. Yeah, <laughs> especially given the fact that it's a Cassius. Like, I don't know how that guy can be Divine One and Vision, but he is. And yeah, you just have to respect him. You just Dyer's cannot big. allow him to come out with these two. Drow Ranger. Oh, oh, yeah. oh my god. Oh. What? <laughs> what is this, dude? So, okay. Let me get this straight, alright? It's a Visage Underlord plus Visage Draw. Oh my god. Oh, the. the <laughs> I, I feel like it's uh, time to call me and uh, arrange for emergency services. Yeah, dude, yeah, someone call the cops, dude, because all I want to see is fucking. Uh, yeah. a, a, a fucking rape uh, fest Five happening, seconds. dude. Like, oh my god. What do you even pick, dude? You can't win. Yeah, you actually can. Like, I feel like just call 911 right now. There's actually nothing you can do. Dude, okay. So once the underlord gets agonims, not only does the Visage uh, shit gets damaged, he gets a lot of attacks from Drow too. Oh, brother! Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Okay, okay, so they do come out with something interesting. Yeah, but is it good enough though? Yeah, that I I don't know. Like I haven't seen any of the play Brute okay. before, so I'll be interested to see who actually picks this up. Let's see who right. picks this up. I, I, um, holy shit! 
fight so who's gonna play this? Is it gonna be no so it's not Neb. Pattern's playing it. Okay, so Pattern's So this is so this is probably an unlock mid now then. I mean it has to be, it right? Has to be, I mean, yeah, it has to be. The draw will get destroyed. Yeah, the draw will definitely right, get so destroyed. Could be it could be Visage as well, no? No, 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 no. Visage can get destroyed though. I would say it has to be Underlord. Underlord uh, mid to with go. the draw safe lane as well as uh, Visage off lane. Okay, so they Five definitely seconds. do come out with their own kind of thing, right? Yep. So let's see. It let's could see be the saving grace, honestly. Better. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, this is quite interesting to say at least. So as we all thought that Raiden just were gonna just uh, stampede over them, but now with the brute mother, things are looking a bit different now. Yeah, so it is gonna be very interesting. This is gonna be an interesting game. Will, will the pattern brute mother be good enough to stop the 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 overwhelming yes. charge from Radiant, or yeah. will or will or will the underlord Visage and Draw just completely run over Dyer? Who? I guess we'll find out in about in the, in about I don't know. 30 minutes maybe? If it goes that, if yeah. it goes that far? Mike, yeah, Mike Caster just coming up with a beautiful storyline right there for how this game is going to oh, go. Oh, thank you man. That's so kind of you. <laughs> is this going to go in the favor of the cheesy draft being picked up by Dawn Academy? Yeah, but or are anti event are anti fan actually going to do it? Mm -hmm. Do you think like any team can be considered favorites going into the game? Like right now, I, I definitely if 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 I will be really scared as really right now. But if, but now as like if the blue Rider pick might, might be something. So who knows? Honestly, who knows? But yeah, I, I will definitely say that Raiden has a much better draft. So once the once Raiden gets like the items like the pipe on, uh, the pipe and scepter on Underlord, the Solar Crest probably on Visage. And uh, I don't know, Agnes on draw, I guess. I don't know. Actually, no, you don't, you don't really need Agnes this game. Yeah, I don't think you even need it, to be yeah. honest. But yeah, you definitely want the, the Agnes on Underlord. And like, you want the Agnes on. Actually, yeah, it's Agnes on Underlord and Pipe on one of the cores. Probably. Maybe Visage or Underlord, I don't know. Alright, so do you want to introduce one of the two teams? Uh, yeah, you, you do it. I'm quite lazy. Alright. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's start with NTFN right now. On NTFN side, we have Nep playing the Wisp. We have Ray, who is going on his Bloodseeker. Broodmother in the hands of Pattern Sanking, being played by Somna. And Windmaker is playing the Lion. That's a cool Lion set, I Yeah, it really is. That is, is a that really the, set. Is that the Dota Plus one? Plus the Immortals? No, 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 it's not. It's not. It is all Immortals, I'm guessing. It looks pretty good. Yeah, it's actually brilliant. All right, let's take a look at Dawn Academy and see what they have come up with in order to counter this strat, this Broodmother strat from NTFN. So, we have Lelouch playing the Undying, Kotal in the hands of MAZ, Dova playing the Drow Ranger, Underlord in the hands of Nightsong, and it is an Underlord mid, as you said. Cassius mm -hmm. playing the Visage top lane. Yep, so this is so this looks to me to me like a core Visage. Yeah, the way he's building for sure it looks yeah, like a definitely. Code. So yeah, this who knows. I I feel like the underlord can definitely break even with the brute. It just kind of depends on how the other lane goes. The other lanes go. All right, so let's see if there's going to be a fight around the bounty rooms. I don't think so. Oh, top. And away we go. Do we get it? We got it. Three runes to what? Three Wow. So it's a good start again. Yep. Maybe nice one. auto auto clicker. I hope for this one. Yeah. All right, so three runes going, going to the way of Radiant. It's already a disaster already. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Underlord mid against the Broodmother. I think yeah, this should be even. Top lane is going to be the Undying Dispatch. So this should be this should be a very good lane for them. For both the Visage and the Unlock, uh, under Undying. Uh, the Draw and Kotal lane should be a bit more passive. Probably will be just see, be seeing like both of them like trading farms. Where's the watch mid actually? Mid is the interesting one. Yeah. Oh, CS. <laughs> Come on, how do you miss CS with 70 damage and calling beyond Unlock, man? Yeah. That's embarrassing, <laughs> so I, okay? I'm, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to bed, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> I can't 
¿Qué es pilo este? Oh. Yeah, just, just, yeah, just both teams just trading farm with each other lanes, so not, uh, I don't think... I don't see a, a kill potential to any of them, to be honest with you. Yeah, I feel, I feel like both teams uh, have definitely developed respect for each other after that, you know, back and forth game one, yep. and yeah, this game I expect to be a bit more passive. Yeah, maybe. That's it. As the Underworld continues to this last hit, so that's yep. why <laughs> Oh my god, damage! Yeah, look at patterns. Oh my god, I... That, the damage, holy shit. Yeah, I, think, I, I think you go... Actually... Do you actually go Crimson or unlock, unlock this game? Probably not, right? Oh, but can't stop. Oh, first blood. First blood. Oh, oh, dies, even with... Like, uh, the... the Ayo, yeah. Yeah, Okay. I, I, so, I yeah. assume we just com got completely... Uh, out of position, uh, and just died to be the star familiar. Yeah, so it just seemed to be like Sorb and just kill you. Yeah. Damn. That's yeah, so why I told you about this Cassius, man. Like, I feel like this is just going to overrun them this game. Yup. Oh, unlines pretty low. Nice. Back to me. So, yeah, pretty even in me right now. Just both of them trading farm. As I could What? Uh, I don't think anything's happening but as well. I think Sanking is doing pretty well though honestly. It it was yes. So this is a very even lane right now. Let's see what's happening. Oh that's a lot of people. Sir, move your ring up! Sir! Oh no. I did not gonna get oh, any of it. Oh they got no. one. Sir, move your ring of BC up! Oh my god, I can't believe that is happening. Move it up, please! <laughs> oh my god! Please move it up! Oh my. You're wasting 8 damage! <laughs> this is so tilting to look at, dude! Yeah, I know! Oh my god, move it up! Just please! I give up. <laughs> okay. He flew up? I finally did, alright. Yeah, okay, good. So yeah, it's just all lanes just trading farm. Yeah, and only like the first blood so far, 4 minutes into the game. Definitely yep. a bit more passive than last game. It just seems to me that the, the, the blood secret isn't having that much of a good game. Like, he's, he's kind of... Uh, it's I feel not like a the complete two, lost cause of blood secret, but it's pretty rough honestly. Yeah, I feel like the two critical heroes to look at this game will be the Broodmother and the to see how they actually end up countering each other and who has the edge in that matchup. Right now it's pretty even though. Mm -hmm. Like both have the same number of last hits approximately. So yeah, CSY is like... It's like so, anyway, so yeah, I just... People just trading farm, blah blah blah, nothing's happening. This is a boring game. I want to kill myself really. Alright, thank you and shout out to Twitch chat for informing me about the mic issues and uh, I fixed them and thank you for uh, the feedback. Appreciate it. I would like to go on Twitch chat but my fucking FPS will drop even yeah. lower. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Bounty Runes going? Oh, this could be all 4 to Radiant actually. Yeah. Death it's actually all 4 runes to Radiant, I think. Yeah, it actually is and that is like really bad, isn't it? Like, yep. For for anti and I don't know like why they do not have control over these bounty runes. Like this happened last. So a medallion of courage on Visage already, and does Broodmother have his? Okay, he goes. He, he goes for the ring of Bassi though. Uh -huh. Oh, on, Bro Bro uh, yeah, yeah, Brood, yeah. I'm not sure. Does he need it though? No. Do not actually. What's he getting? What's he even getting? Actually, on brute. He's getting the uh, medallion. Dyer's mid tower could use a little help. Surprise, surprise! It's the underlord who's causing damage to the tower first. Yeah, I mean, like, like, like I said, you, this game is like this lane is just like very. It's just trading farm and like. 
the underlord can definitely deal with the. I love this build. I love this build from the underworld. Don't match the epic hero. Yeah, yeah but I, I feel like she should got one level of uh, pure of mana, so maybe so you can check the the spiders for a while. But I'm not, I'm yeah. not sure. I think I think this fine. Yeah. I think this fine. Anyway, yeah, it's just both lanes just trading. Uh, just all three lanes just trading from each other. Nothing seems to be happening. Although Radiant has a 2k lead though, what the fuck? The Visage is getting so much from his lane. Just every single time I see this guy, he just manages to like do wonders for his in the off lane. <laughs> Beta Division, watch out for Gatsis. Oh. Meanwhile, oh, anything happening? Mid lane, uh, the Broodmother. Why would you. Uh, uh, okay, I don't like this actually. Why would you go for Arcane Boots on Amlor? You already have the Soul Ring. Just go for a Facebook or something. Yeah. But, oh, this is a waste. You should go on Facebook. <laughs> Wait some more. So, pretty passive game so far. Everybody oh, elects. Did I say that? Top? Well, oh, I wasn't looking. I was. Not. I was thinking about ordering Domino's pizza or not, dude. <laughs> but I wasn't looking. Okay, you know what? That's fair enough. I feel like you get a free pass for that one. Yeah, <laughs> it's, nothing's happening. It's like it's just everyone just trading farm. Yeah. Gatsy is just playing out of his mind though. Like every time he tries to kill this bug seeker, overcharge from this comes into play, but he's still able to get the kill. So definitely use mm. soul rip at the right time. Cool. Oh my god, did you see his HP? He just dropped like uh, half HP. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, honestly, I, I feel like the only reason why the Berserker has like some sort of farm is because of the IO. If not, he'll be screwed for sure. Really. Yeah. Oh, you get an underlord? I, I think you're right though. I think like he he's leveling and he did not use the uh he did not level up the darkness. Is that the right build? Yeah, it's probably because he, like I said, this is a very passive game at the moment. So I think he's build right now is fine, but he should definitely get it very soon. Maybe I maybe maybe next level or something. Should have taken one point in bit of mouse. I think like he could have like farmed the spiders as well. You're yeah, that's true. That. I think he's taken one at least. I think you should take it next level actually. He, you don't need the ulti this early on in this game. Anyway, so... Yup, it just seems to be everyone just trading farm. The Kotal electing to rotate. I don't think like this is a good rotation. Look at him melt. Look at the spider. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. Uh, why why, why <laughs> Kotal? Now you, now you leave the draw very exposed. Yeah. Oh, you might actually die now. Yep, and they're now taking advantage of yep, that. You should definitely go ahead. Okay, no, he's fine. Oh. Out comes the Kotal. No dust? And no dust. Okay, so the Undying is here now. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I damn it. Yeah, that was just the alt frog, oh my god. Is that actually dead? No, he should be fine, right? He should be fine. Oh my oh god! Oh my god! Holy shit, that is! Oh, he's still with the East Kills of Sorry, my god! Oh my god. Undying is level, t is level 6 in 10 minutes, what tomb, dude? Oh my god. Uh, he's having a th he's having a good game. Oh no! We get a rune at least. Okay, he got a rune at least. Oh no! The the the, the, the is, is already taking over, dude. Holy shit! Yeah, this game very quickly. 4k, dude. 4k lead, man, in 10 minutes. In 10 oh my minutes. god. Yeah, this is definitely heading into the direction where we might need to call that. See, yeah, <laughs> yeah probably. Uh, I, I have my phone on standby mode, dude. Yeah, same. <laughs> but I wanna order, I wanna order, order Domino. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jao is pretty low. Okay, no, he's fine for sure. Alright, this is triggering me. Why is neither of the spots Die getting a dust? Oh, okay, there you go, it's in the career. It's in the career. Alright. Dire structures so, are fortified. Jao, you be a bit careful here. Oh, it's gone and fortified. <laughs> Oh no no you're not getting anything. Oh no. Oh no, this, this is bad. He has to dash too. Oh no. No mana for stun. Oh okay, he's dead. Oh maybe he might live. Maybe. 
Okay, maybe not. Oh my god, dude. The loose? Oh my god. Yeah, I use this one. Yeah, yeah, I use it. Oh my god. Just dives the tower. Does not give a shit. Does not give a shit, dude. I mean, he's 1.9k HP in 10 minutes. 11 minutes. Who gives a shit? Oh my god. This is looking very bad right now. The Visage, the Visage is already dominating top really. He's almost halfway to Agonin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would do the same right now, honestly. I would just quit the game right now. <laughs> like, how do you win this? The Berserker is 2.5k, um, like, in terms of net worth, 2.5k behind the Visage. Yeah, I'm trying to think of ways in which they can come back from this, and the only win condition to me looks like the um, Broodmother, but even that, like, on its the own... Broodmother is like, the, like the Unlaw is keeping far from him, so it doesn't matter, honestly. Like, yeah. yes, the Brood is getting something, but, like, it's not enough. Look at the cats he's familiar, so already looking at the tier 2 top, like, yep. oh my... This is just so... It's, it's already turning into a disaster, dude. Yeah, and Drow already used the Precision Aura, so... Oh, oh my god, yeah. And they, and they have the Catapult, oh my god. You know, <laughs> this, this, this Tato could be gone, honestly, like... Yeah, it could melt very quickly. Yeah, like, I feel like... If yeah, it, like, yeah the, the Berserker has ruptured oh. soon, because he's, you know, in fact, he's level 6 really, so he can actually just scale up right now, but... Does it matter at this point? Like, you rupture, and then what happens next? You just die. Like, oh dear, man. This is looking very, very grim right now. Yeah, this is not looking like family friendly at all. <laughs> yup, this is... Uh, uh, someone has to freaking add the viewer discretion, dude. This is not getting good, man. Yeah, PG-18. The yeah, PG-18. <laughs> I thought this was a top friendly stream, dude. Okay, probably isn't big, but yeah, like... Oh dear. So anyway, alright. Looking over at the items, Underlot seems to be about almost halfway to Arganims. Um, Jarvis, I don't know what she's farming. Undying is undying. Visage is almost to uh, Agonyms. Like, from Dire, like, they don't have anything. They're not close to anything. Like, Sanking is still miles away from Blink. The Broodmother uh, gets okay in about 3k go, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, 3k go. Alright, going through the top tower. Yep. Not Seeker, you do not want to be doing that. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, they ruptured him. Oh, okay, they ruptured him. First one used, second one oh. used, both. Okay, he might die. I, I think he's dead. The second one is here. Yeah, he's dead, he's dead. The dire breaths do something about their body tower. Okay, looking familiar. Okay, not now, not now. Not now. Not now. Not now. So, dire the bottom towers get the business. Dire just couldn't save that bottom tower. And in the end, you don't really get anything. Yeah, this is mine. I think so. Except the Visage kill, but it does not feel like it's that much at this point in the game. So the laning phase is definitely going in the favor of Dawn Academy. 7 to 1 here with a 5k lead, 12 minutes into the game. Yep. Oh, this guy, this guy is dead. You don't, I think he's dead. Probably? Maybe? He should oh, be dead. Like, good mother. My game is lagging like fuck right now. Is he good? Where do you live? Okay, he's fine. Oh, they were, they're gonna go actually. He might die. Oh, the Widow Kit comes out. Oh, the Widow Kit. Let's go Widow Kit. Alright. Okay, the Wisp might die though. Yeah, the, the Wisp will die, but like... You, you saved the boot, so that's worth it. Dyer's mid tower. Oh, they're gonna turn around actually. They might... Oh, they're missing some... They wanna actually fight here. Oh, they come up. The Wisp is dead. Yup. So the Broodmother Dive trying to go here for the key to Keeper of the Light? I think it's not Oh! Are you stunned again? Oh no. Oh, I think my was an over ex 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 there already. Yeah, they oh, do have vision of him. It's familiar, so it completely Locked counters use? their vision. Alright, this is so, so over efficient. I don't know what's happening. Okay. Seems to me that Undy Undy Undying is dead. Maybe. Yeah, I feel like the Visage is just controlling the entire fight yep. here. Yeah. Yeah, he's dead. Undying is dead. Alright, so I think it turned out pretty okay actually for, for Dyer. They get they get the kill on under lot, so it's pretty okay. Yeah, the, they do need these kills though. Like these kills are exactly what back in the game and they need to be taking these fights. Yep. So yep, the unlock the unlock dies, they lose the IO. That's pretty good. Oh that's a beautiful stuff by the familiar double stuff! Oh, 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 o
Is it enough? It's not enough. It's not enough. Pattern is able to get away though. Oh, the same from really from Dyer though. Yeah. yeah. So this oh, game wants no. to like after that peace and calm is developing into a bloodbath. Yep. Oh no. Everybody going mid lane. So the Bulma yep. uses health. Goes on the Adyne first. Will he be able to get the kill? I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Nice, nice. All right. Oh, the stun or reset. Oh my god. The super stun. Can the boot up? Is he gonna die? He's dead, yeah, I think he's dead. Oh, it's unlocked, it's gonna live. Oh, he survived to 60 HP, dude. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh, the iron's gonna come back, dude. No, no. Oh, the unlocked, nice. The person can actually chase him all the way to tier 1. Alright, alright. Oh, goodbye, Ayo. Yeah, this is like so dead. Damn, this is a blip buff. 15 minute wound coming up. Dude, that three, that three man familiar stun though. Oh my god, yeah. that's serious. That was, that was really good. Yeah. For the twins. So yeah, it's just. I'll take that. Very messy actually. I, I wasn't even sure what's happening. Yeah, it was actually really messy. Like everybody like wanted to fight, but did not want to overextend. So it all revolved around when the brood mother TP'd over here with the west relocate. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Ends up dying, but then they get the kill on the end dying. Did the Undying actually buy back there? I don't no, think No, no, he, he didn't. He has, he has respawn. Yeah, he respawned. But then again, though, they lose the Unlocked again. Like, I don't I don't think you get Axe first item. You you, you should get a pipe, honestly, on Undying. Uh, unlocked. Yeah, yeah, because like you would just want to run at this lineup. You want to like be able to take long, drawn out fights like we saw over there. And I feel like a pipe might be a good choice over there. Oh my god, they cast the. Over there oh and wow! That's good. Wow, that's good. That's good. I think that's good. I think they might get hit on top of that. Yeah, they will be able to. They push like so fast over here. Eighty-five F Fiora already on the underworld. Yeah, she's not getting though anyway. She has a blade of uh, a blade of alacrity like on Q right now. So I'm not sure what she's trying to get here. Radiant mid. She has. She already has the Yasha. Is this a? Is this a Aghanim? Diffuser maybe. I think I get him. Dyer's top tower. You know Radiant's mid tower ain't doing so good. isn't that bad either, by the way. <laughs> yeah, this game is it, it really is. Yeah, it looks pretty good because you're. Yeah, tower. honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like tower. go against a diffuser on the draw. Dude, apart. take out the mana pool on the west and the lion. What are they gonna do? Yeah, pretty much. So it, I, I would say that the diffuser is more like just to slow them so that the visage can just hit them. Yeah, 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 and you just kill someone from that from the physical attacks. Dude, the tier two is gone oh, already. You know Sixteen the minutes into the game. Okay, so mid lane. Here we go. Oh, here comes the blood back. They found the brood mother. Oh. The Taylor, the Io had out. Oh, the he dies. Out of the brood mother is dead. Yep. Oh, fingered. All right. Let's get Hawker. He buys back. They want to fight this. By the total. Oh my god! Oh my god! god. god. Oh my, oh my god. Io dies too. Dova cleaning up the Io. Can you get a Berserker too though? Oh. Oh, I feel like oh. the Bloodseek might be in a lot of trouble here. Oh yeah, really? I think he's there. Oh my god, it's a two man stun, the lion comes Oh out. no! He this just popped back! Oh, oh no! Oh my god. They might, they might lose back here actually. Yeah! Oh, oh my god, god he just oh died! What the <laughs> fuck is this? Dude, 500 damage on Underlord, dude. How's this balance? Yeah, oh they call it. It's just game of <laughs> Holy seven. shit. Just like that. Oh my god. Oh 11,000 lead, 18 minutes into the game. Yup. Ban the cats here, Massage. Do not play against Do not. Me. Okay, alright. Wow, good luck next, dude. Nah, nah, nah. nah. That, yeah, that, that's a BM, that, man. That's just, yeah, <laughs> that's that's BM. just wrong. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. So, should we do the post game interview actually? Yeah, we will be able to get one of the players from uh, DWN over here. So let's see who comes up. Yep. Damn, though, this the the Undot was doing five hundred damage when I last saw. Hey, what the fuck? Yeah, if and if if one thousand damage, if, if sorry, five hundred damage, right? You basically just two hit someone. Oh my god. It just looked. Me Ugly dude. It was yeah, actually like yeah, a complete that, it was just a complete that, stomp, honestly. Yeah, that was just brutal to say the least. That like, was uh, that was that was painful. Yeah, they had no answer right they there. They couldn't do anything, dude. Like it, it was just it was a very well thought out draft by Donna Kennedy. I'll give them really good credit for that. 
Yeah, I agree. But, but, but then again, like a lot of the Visage from I, I'm surprised they left the Visage in the pool. Yeah, me too. Honestly, like uh, it was very confusing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's just straight. Wait, is this two? This is two all right? Yeah, straight two all. Yeah, it's a 2-0 for Dawn Academy, and we're trying to get one of the players over here. The like a very good start in Beta Division for Dawn Academy. Yep. Like two they... series down, and they're already three and one. Three and one, damn, that's really good. Yeah, so they're doing, and the only game they lost is because of an over extension on the Spectre. Otherwise, they had that game in the bag as well. It was a very close game with the uh, Tails Birthright. So, mm -hmm. yeah, like uh, just waiting on one of the Dawn players. Let's see who joins us over here. All right. I mean, damn, though, it's just uh, complete utter chaos, dude. Like, that, that game was just. Uh... What's up, boys? Hello. Hello, Cassius. Hello. 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 Yes. Alright, wait, so... wait, 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 wait for my teammates, please. Oh. I'm gonna call. Oh, okay. Alright. Hello. Hello, Night Song. How are you doing today, sir? Um. <laughs> my right, so, my uh... heart is still. Pounding from first game, okay. <laughs> yeah, that was a, that was a beautiful game. I have a I have a question from game two though. Did it feel feel like during the drafting phase, like you were just like you know running over them in a drafting wise? Because it definitely looked from the outside looking in that you had a superior like a clear advantage uh, going yeah, into yeah. the game. I mean, they didn't ban Visage, so we just went Visage under. Yeah, hello, hello, hello. First of all, congratulations though. That was a, that was. Uh, thank you. Yeah, that first game was very good to watch, by the way. It was so messy, like. <laughs> Like, it was so over the place, like, I, 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 your shaker was definitely frustrated, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can so ask him, you can ask they, him. Dude, they keep cancelling my blink, my <laughs> god! <laughs> dude, like, 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 even if you blink it, right, the stalker silence is ready to fuck yeah, up. Yeah, the stalker silence! It's so rough, I, I, I was like, yo, alright, this is just, uh, the shaker is definitely smashing his keyboard, dude. <laughs> okay, uh, my question to you is like, during the game too, did it feel like the Broodmother pick by them countered you in any way? Were you scared by it? Or were you... you uh, know, nah, Underlord is fine against Broodmother. Broodmother. Yeah. He no, can... I think Cassius was scared. Cassius was scared. But, was scared. <laughs> <laughs> but like, was... but like the, the moment I saw like, the, the, the Underlord, like I, I saw, before you even picked Jawla, I saw like the first four picks, right? I was like, alright. This is gonna be a fucking ugly game, really. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, this is gonna be a total storm, dude. Like, like they had no answers, dude. Like, what the fuck is Bloodseeker meant to do against Visage Underlord coming at your racks, dude? Yeah, Kaya it's... actually didn't want to pick Drow. Yeah, I didn't. No, want to the draw was good. The draw was really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, he didn't want to pick it because it's too cheesy. It's too, it's too cheesy. Yeah, it's, it's I, 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 that's why I didn't want to pick it. <laughs> I was actually quite surprised that uh, NTFN actually liked to go for like such squishy heroes. Like you look at their support duo, right? Like they have a Wisp and a Lion who absolutely melt to the Visage Familiars. Were you guys surprised by those picks? Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, Net plays I also I wasn't surprised, but I was very surprised they picked Lion next. Yeah. Yeah, he just melted to the Familiars every single time. Um, we were wondering what the Blade of Alacrity was about, like, that the Drow Ranger had to <laughs> <laughs> What was that about? Okay, was it like, was it meant to be a Diffuser Blade? Because I would agree with Diffuser Blade, honestly. <laughs> no, I, I think he just wants agility. Uh, no, he wanted to go 6 Yasha. <laughs> yeah, oh, another Yasha. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Yeah, he All just right, wants guys, to stack no, agility. That was, uh, that was quite the game, and uh, yeah, game 2 was ugly. You guys are Yep, but uh, any team I, 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 felt, I fell partly asleep in the early in the laning stages, but it, the game just escalated very quickly, and the game was just won in eighteen minutes, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> game one was definitely exhilarating, and game two, like the first five ten minutes, we were like slow, relaxing game, and then immediately it just picked up. Yep. So uh, I was just thinking of fucking ordering Domino's pizza, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, I was over here calling nine one one for. <laughs> yep. I was my phone was standby already because I was about to see some kind of rape case, dude. Yeah. So I definitely feel like you guys have developed a meta here. Yep. And I feel like other teams are going to be picking it up as well. Uh, is there any team in Beta Division that you're looking forward to facing? Hmm. Kai. Yeah, what? Kai. <laughs> Kai is our enemy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I want to fight Kai. <laughs> All right, so he, thro uh, he throws a lot. Oh yeah. Oh, oh wow. Okay, so shot calling being done right here, ladies Damn. and gentlemen. You heard the first on the street. 
<laughs> All right, guys, congratulations, and yep. thank you for coming in for the winter interview. Do you have any shout-outs uh, before we uh, close the stream? Shout-out to Shout Lelouch and... Lelouch, man. Uh, Lelouch. Lelouch and Mazakar fighting before the game. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie, if, if, if I was a shaker, I would definitely be toting hard. <laughs> that was such.